Hey guys, so we have a really exciting product to tell you about called Stemtropin from our sponsors at Muscle Meds. As many of you know, I've been getting stem cells for various injuries and recovery, and you know stem cells do amazing things. So I'm excited to try Stemtropin. It's been shown to uh, increase natural production of stem cells by 20%. And uh, you know, if you have injuries or joint pain, this is something you definitely want to give it a try. Absolutely, guys. Check it out today from MuscleMedsRx.com. Get there, check it out, order yours today. Let's go. Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man FE. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ in the tramp, let the ball blast. But anyway, we got Luke Fernandez, Eric Nolan, my man Dante Rivera, two up and comers uh, in, in the the local MMA circuit. Um, obviously, been training with Dante for quite a while. Luke, you got a title fight coming up, CFFC, right for the light, light heavyweight title. Yes, sir. What's the date of that? December fifteenth. December fifteenth. Who's the opponent? Peter New. Peter New. Don't it matter. It doesn't don't matter to you. Matter. You don't, don't give up. Don't matter. No. <laughs> nah. yeah. So undefeated, man. You're undefeated. Six uh, amateur fights, right? Undefeated. Two pro fights. Yes, sir. I Got, think uh, all finishes in your pro fights. Uh, all, yeah. all first round except one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, seven out of my eight fights have been finishes. Oh, yeah. It's been oh, yeah. And Eric, you got a fight. Who, who you got coming up? Where are you fighting? You don't even know Alonzo either. Turner. Alonzo Turner. Yeah. Okay. And for for what promotion? CFSC. CFSC. All right. Same card. C- same night. Same card. Same oh, night. That's, oh, that's sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Love fighting with Luke. Yeah, have me and him fight together. It's yeah, like, you guys all fight at the same night. It feels like yeah. Yeah. there's still a bunch of they bring a big crowd to. Well, yeah. Eric's a marine too, so he yeah. brings a big yeah. crowd. Well, Eric, I know you know you're friends with my cousins and yeah, stuff that from, comes from out. Madison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're an Edison boy. Yeah, yeah. Born and yeah. raised. Yeah, there you go. And you're uh, Luke. You're Lacy Lacy boy. Yeah, I, I've been in Lacy now for basically ever. I was born in Florida. I right. stayed there for like a year and then came to Lacy. Okay, so I've been there ever since. Went to high, Lacy High School. Yeah. All right. What, what year you graduate? 13. 13. Damn, you guys are fucking young. How about you, Eric? <laughs> young boy. Young. What year you graduate? 2015. High school? Yeah. Oh, my God. 26. <laughs> Just turned 26. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, wow. 2015, I think I was already 40. Something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, you guys got a bright future. How do you, I mean, I know you got you guys in great hands with Dante. Uh, Luke, I've, I mean, I've seen you guys both train. Obviously, been in the gym together. Luke's seen you w- 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 with Corey and, uh, I mean, they can't get better, better uh, work than Corey. He's uh, he's great. Eh? He's good as it gets. I mean, you want to emulate someone? That's the guy. Like, you want to get good? Do what he does. You know yeah, what I mean? That's. I mean, last camp we, I was fortunate enough to have him. Like, basically through the whole camp, like working with me, helped me, and that's basically what I, like, came to terms with. If, if I want to be successful in the sport, just emulate somebody like him. And yeah. Following his like his path, what he does, I try to do. If I see him working out an extra session. I go downstairs, do an extra session, go for a run or something like that. Now, now you, you, you're not, are you a full time? You got to work though too. Yeah, I work a full time job. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I did that in the beginning too. Yeah, it's, I, I think tough. of it as like the the grinding area. It's nice. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I mean, I it makes you appreciate it. You know, when yeah. you're able to go full time, it makes you really. Like I mean, I used to, have to, you know, work work in the mornings and in the in New Jersey winter, or the hot summers. I mean, shit, I'd much rather be in the gym. Oh, for sure. There will come a point at, at some time where you you have to make that like I, I'm going full in. Where was it for you? Where did you decide? Well, well for me, it's just once I because well, I already I had a condo, I was engaged to get married, so I was like I couldn't just be like ah. A lot of dudes, I mean. I'm sure you guys know a lot of dudes fight professionally, so I don't have to grow the fuck up. It's like, oh, I'm fighting, I'm chasing a dream, but they ain't really chasing a dream. They just don't want to get a real job yeah, and they don't grow work. up, right? Oh, it's the easy way to do that. it. Yeah. So sure. for me, I was like, I had, I had bills, I had goals. I was like, you know, I, I had to make sure that I could cover these bills before I could, you know, fully commit to a full time career. So my third fight in the UFC, I made my next contract of the UFC, uh, the second second contract of, of that, I think it was my, on my fourth fight. And that's when I was like, all right, I, I could, you know, jump all the way in. You come home and you sit down with Big Frank and say, yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm going yeah, I mean, I, to I mean, you know, chase this dream and go I worked for, for my father, to stepfather, so, they, you know, that helped a lot. 
so I would get time off when I needed it, but I still had to work. You know, I right. still had to make hours. I was in the union and stuff. I had to go to school, all that, all that stuff. But uh, to finally make the the transition was was awesome. Yeah. I mean, that was what it was all about. You know, yeah. you do this for a long time to to get to that point where you know you could sure. be a professional athlete. You know. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. It's like I'm I'm gonna keep working until I get that realization where like all right now you, know, I can you, finally can, you can make a comfortably living. yeah yeah i'm not gonna put myself in a hole i know there's right. a lot of people that are like you said like trying to chase that dream like i'm gonna chase that dream but also do what i have to do yeah uh, and i do have uh the guy i work for is one of my best friends yeah so, so he like helps me out and he actually yeah. introduced me to dante oh wow so he oh. knows the whole gig he's always front row at all my fights he's yeah. super cool with it that's but awesome even if i'm just beat a day like yeah i wake up to lift in the morning and he's like Hey, chill. Yeah. You, need, you need a day to rest. Like, that's cool. You let yeah. me take off. So, see, that's good, man. That's what you need. This kid's up. I look at his Instagram. He's up every day, like four thirty in the morning, lifted. I don't even know what four thirty in the morning looks like. <laughs> no, I, I can't not. get in after because yeah, I get, I get home at like five and I gotta drive. Yeah, minutes yeah. To... I did that for a bit, man. I did the later in life. I'm, a, I'm an old man compared to you, but just well, it was probably when my daughter was born. So like nine years ago, I was like, you know what? I gotta get right home after work. I tried five a.m. lifts, bro. They were rough, dude. They're five not fun. They're rough. They're not fun. I did it for maybe six months, no. and but I just I'm a I, I'm so programmed to be a five o'clock guy. Plus, when you get older, you're not there yet. Your your body's stiff in the morning. It doesn't want to move. You know, it's like and the weight feels twice as heavy. But mm. so yeah, my I take my hat off to you if you're doing four thirty a.m. workouts. Well, every day, I'm not You're up at the gym, or you nah, work out at home. I work out. He's got a whole gym yeah. in his house. Yeah, I, gotta, uh, mm. I work out at home, but I, my alarm's four thirty. Yeah. I got to be lifting by five five thirty the latest. But I do take a minute to get like get up, so yeah. usually five. But I also have like a the buddy I work with. He he works out with me every morning, so yep. it's just another reason I gotta get up. Yeah, he holds you accountable. There's gonna right? be somebody yeah. there. Yeah. And the worst days are when he's like, "Yo, I can't make it." Right. Yeah. And then I yeah. really gotta fight those demons to get up. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm also like a guy like I I take my my pre workout in the morning, so it's like once I get once I get downstairs and I I just start my. Process. Gotta get there. Once yeah. you're there, you're good. My dad always said, yeah. "Deliver your body." To the gym or to whatever, and then the, once you're there, it's fun. So yeah, that's true. Yep. true. So just yep. get yourself there. And oh, once yeah. I get to the point where if I take my pre-workout, I know I'm locked in. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, I think that. Eric, you start. You, my bad. Go ahead. Garage. I was just gonna say I'll, the theory that the harder, the hardest worker in the room, always the consistent guy, usually is the, the cream rises at the top. Usually, yeah, so yeah. for sure, for sure. No, I, all right, you, you you started in the did you start training the Marines? Yeah, I actually took my first fight while I was in the Marines. So. Like, like the com- like combative leagues there, or no? Like, this was like outside outside of the Marines. Yeah, outside. I just DM'd a promoter and was like, "You give me a fight." And Did, what kind it. of training were you doing? Just in the training I was just Marines, running, swimming, hitting a heavy bag. That's it. Wrestling with Marines. But you, you wrestled growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Edison. Yeah, so. yeah. Wow. But, yeah, like I go to school full time too. Getting my degree right now. Yeah, what so. school? Monmouth, oh, okay. Monmouth University. So I'm doing that. I wake up in the morning, go to Dante's, get a private session in, and they, then they might not hire him in his job. You know, I'm being at my school. <laughs> yeah, I'm interning with the state police right now. I really? Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. That that's that's what you want to do. You want to be be a state state police officer? No, I want to be a professional fighter. Okay. But, but that's your back burner. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. The that's Marine good. Corps is giving me the GI Bill, so oh, oh, I'm using nice. that to get nice. the degree. And, and they still pay for Monmouth and stuff. Yeah. I was gonna say yeah. Monmouth ain't cheap. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I would not be going to that school if I, didn't, <laughs> right. if I wasn't in the Well, room. hey, I mean, say, you, you, how, how yeah. old are you? 26. Well, you've got a pretty well thought out life plan at 26. I wasn't that straightforward at 26 yet. I hadn't figured things out. That's, that's, you know, you got a, you got a lot of things cooking and a lot of things as a backup if, you know, you're, you're, you know, I guess pretty you're good. I just figured my shit out like six Yeah, me ago, too, so. man. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I, when I was 17, getting out of high school, went right into boot camp. Did the four years in the Marines? What, why you were you so like uh, I want to do something? Did you, college wasn't your thing at the, at that time. I just ever since I was in like sixth grade, I just wanted to be a Marine. Oh, you did. That was mm. something I wanted to do. And then in the what, Marine Corps, I what, was, why Marine, not Army, not Navy? My grandfather was a Marine, right. and cool. um, yeah. I was really close with him. And I just that was what I wanted to do. I didn't Marines. Really I mean, aren't the Marines school. like the first guys the top, and last guys yeah, out? The right? Top, top yeah, of the yeah. top of the chain. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. I had a really good four years too. Uh, I was an infantryman. I deployed with the uh, maritime raid force, so I was with some high level dudes doing some really cool stuff. That's cool. And then I was like, all right, it's time to do something for myself now. I want to be a fighter. This is what I love. Yeah. 
That's awesome. So, funny story. Yeah. Before I got here, you know, I, I left work. I went to the gym, got like an hour workout in. I get home, check on my mailbox, and I hear what I think is like a fight going on, like a street over. I hear like yelling, like fucking deep voice. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, it must be a couple neighbors going at it or fucking some, you know, fucking domestic on the next street over. And it's getting louder. It's getting closer. So I'm standing in the middle. I'm like, what the fuck? The recruiter school was right down the street from me, and there was a bunch yeah. of kids going in. They were holding a big truck tire over their head run by, and this dude is just blasting them, screaming at them, yelling at them. It was good to see. One girl in the group, too. Well, I don't get yeah. that. It's a, a recruiter's office? Like, she's like, oh, come, we'll put you through some drills I if you like this shit. essentially that that's what it is. What it is. Really? It's like testing them, I think. I don't know. It's a recruiter school. It's right by Brazos. Like, damn, I ain't going to recruit too many people yeah. screaming at them. There was, a, there was a girl. There was probably I had to do that. 15, 20 of them, but there was one girl in the group holding the tire up, right. running along with them. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I do not miss those days. Yeah. Not at all. I mean, what, that uh, boot camp, that was tough? I mean, boot camp for me wasn't as yeah. as tough as they, like, I thought it was going to be super tough. Yeah, well, yeah. is it is it because, in your opinion, I mean, obviously, you, you didn't know what it was like back in the day, but it hasn't been downgraded? I mean, is, is, the, is the physicality of it not what it used to be? No, it definitely still is. It is. I think that's, okay. like, one of the things, like, all the older Marines and stuff, they're like, oh, boot camp's not the same. Like, no, it's, I got my ass ripped into a lot yeah. there. Like, cool. it's just, it's part of it. Right. It's, it's part good. of it. That's what you want, right? Yeah, part you of the get yelled at more in boot camp uh, or by me? Oh, you, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll roll and he'll, like, beat my ass, obviously, and then I'll get a call at night, like, hey, how you feeling? Like, don't kill yourself. Like, it's all right. Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he, got, I, he got a call like that last night. <laughs> yeah. He got a nice whooping last night. He said I, he said I cheated because I said, I don't feel too good. You're probably going to beat me up today. Yeah, he goes, he goes, he's sandbagging, too, sandbagging. Yeah. Yeah. And then he literally launched me on my head. I was like, bro, you feel perfectly <laughs> fine right <laughs> now. I was a little stiff, but. Donnie, you know, you've been in the game forever, bro. You, you've obviously had your own school forever. You yeah, obviously fought, with Moses. Fought, <laughs> you goes. Fought, <laughs> fought at the highest level. <laughs> We're getting up there in age. I'll throw myself in that. You, you ever have a, have a moment with some of these younger guys where you're like, holy fuck, the student's about to become the teacher here. You, know, right? you, know, you still handle them pretty well? Not on the not on the ground. Yeah. No, on the ground, I'm good. You know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. other places, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I was play sparring with Luke one day and like light. And I tell him, I said, don't hit me hard. Even even when I spar, I can, they, they, they respect me towards so never they hit me hard. So they hate sparring me because I'll hit them as hard as I can. They don't give a fuck. You wait, know? so you hit them as hard as you can, but they can't hit you it's that hard? It's their fault. They wait, respect wait, wait, wait. me. On top of that, he's not wearing a mouthpiece. So he says, oh. don't hit me in the face. <laughs> don't hit me in the face. Yeah. He said, don't Body break my teeth. Yeah. He's gonna hit me I spent a lot so, of money. So, <laughs> so Luke, Luke hit me with a body shot. And I was like... I don't know if I'm old or this motherfucker just hits really hard. I felt like my rib, if he hit me for real, they would have broke my rib. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just. I mean, like, I'm not allowed to hit you in the face. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Just, yeah. I, I just, I don't know if my body can take, like, you know what I mean? I sure it could, you know, but I love my body, you know. I go sometimes I go with Eric, he sneaks in his knees, and I'm just like, <laughs> damn, I used to just eat these motherfuckers, yeah. man. And now they just hurt a little bit more, you know? Because nothing's on the line now. Yeah. That's why you don't got nothing on the line. On the mat, right? though, I attack them like dogs, jujitsu wise. Yeah. Jujitsu wise, I'm all, I'm talking shit, Derek. I'm covering his mouth like he's just, I'm abusing him, you know. Yeah. But standing's <laughs> different when they kick and knee, right? You know, it just so fell I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> Our producer just got hit in the head by a Frankie pitcher. It fell off the wall. That's great. <laughs> Frankie's That's always great. fucking with somebody. Yeah, always beating somebody. Getting yeah. 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 in. <laughs> So uh, something else we've talked about on the show with we've had a lot of fighters on, a lot of guys that come out here on the East Coast to train and stuff, traveling, right? We just kind of touched on it a little bit, Luke, but uh, to, to train and Jersey raises champions. They put out champs here, no question about it, but you've got to be willing to travel to train in New Jersey. Not as right? much. These guys are spoiled, right? Yeah. You guys are a little bit more spoiled. They're very yeah. spoiled. Because you got they are Dante, compared to you. Because you, know, yeah. you said you used in to the go beginning, you had to go one everywhere. day a week to, to the city, everywhere. right? Oh, yeah. Manhattan, that was, right? That was yeah. The, the good thing with me is I have a good relationship with everybody. You know, I, I never, you know, everybody loves me for some reason. I don't know what the fuck it is, but <laughs> so I can... <laughs> I could pretty much call people and they would come, they cross train, you know. Yeah. Corey helps out a lot. We got Carl Robeson going over there. So he's got, mm. they got, you know, and jujitsu wise, my school has 400, I mean, there's a ton of guys on the mat that have good jujitsu. They don't got to go anywhere else for jujitsu or wrestling. That's all in house. But for the sparring, they get different looks. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed enough where I can call people and they're happy. We got a good network. Happy. We yeah. got a good network. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we got Nick's. 
Nick had told us, we don't got to go sure. too far, and we right. cross train, you know, yeah. so it's between me and, and Nick. and About to have another one in the area. Yep. Yeah, about to have another Frank, one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have yeah, three yeah, of them, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll be able to all in a little triangle. That's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. There you nowhere. go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so it's definitely not as bad, right, as it used to be. Because I remember, um, who else do we have on the show? Uh, Charlie. Charlie was on the show, and he talked oh, about- Oh, Brenneman. He's like, dude, I well, can't he was, imagine. Well, he lived in the fucking movies. He lived in nowhere. But so he would he literally had to come drive to us all three time. hours yeah. each way sometimes. He would come here. He'd come he to come the city. He would come to Ricardo's. Yeah, yeah. He would come, he'd he'd come, come to Ricardo's. Ricardo's. He would go to the city. And, and he, he said, I remember Miller's when he was on the show, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought that was normal. That's what I was doing, though. That's what we were all doing. You too, you too. No, it was different when I when I fought. We didn't go nowhere. It was just me. Ricardo and like you're, ten. A, you're a rhino guy, right? Not me. No, you never <laughs> I fought like four rhino guys. Did you? Okay. Yeah, you know why but, but Listen, he I'm was the, an honorary. He I'm, was an honorary hey, rhino guy. I'm the rhino killer. <laughs> <laughs> rhino. He used all to come in there. Yo, 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 st- my it. first grappling tournament ever. Time out. Let me my tell you. My first <laughs> grappling tournament <laughs> ever. You know that's like tournament, Roger. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. This Let me tell you line. this: right? Rhino lying. throws a grapple to him. I said, Dante, would you like to participate? We'd like to have you there. You got a, you got a good jiu-jitsu there. Sure, I'll go. All right. Let me tell you this fucking story. Everybody got two matches. I had nine matches. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. I had you, no. Chris Lagore. I had to go against Jay Lagore Coleman, too. Killer. Tom Galecchio and Jay Coleman. All That's killers. the five. You said Jay Coleman matches. twice. You did say Jay Coleman. Tom Galecchio. <laughs> J. Coleman. It doesn't equal nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in my eyes, it looked it felt like mine, right? <laughs> Frankie, Chris, and somebody else. Who the fuck else was it? You, Chris, J. Coleman, Tom Galecchio, and somebody else. No, nobody else. Who Roddy, the have Roddy? Roddy? Kevin Roddy? No, I don't know. Whoever it was. Everybody got submitted, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, but listen. I, I, we were going. Everybody got submitted. A- I went for, how do you submit Wait, me? How do you Frank, submit me? Frankie had me to finals, <laughs> and this maniac, he, he he says so much energy. I'm like, fuck, I'm too tired, man. This motherfucker moves too much. And he went for a leg lock on me. I was like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> he went to try to leg lock me. I said, thank God. This guy's Lord. fucking, he's like the crib keeper, bro. He's, his feet are stiff as fuck. They don't bend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like fucking trying to ankle lock a mummy. <laughs> I said, my feet. I said, oh, he made it so I thank God. Every time, I, every time I enter on the legs on him, he just like sits up at me and like just like smiles and laughs. He's like, what are you even trying to do? Listen, right I'm, now, people man? don't really. I'm, me Why? Because you, you, bro, that's you, I didn't had. I knew. I knew. Me, you just no jiu jitsu you know back then. Me, no, but the, I knew. What? Zero jujitsu back. Yeah, yeah, we just wrestling. You know, yeah, not too much. Yeah. But yeah. Why, well, I'm curious. Why do you? Why? why well, to why be are honest, the, the original leg lockers in this game were me a fucking. T- back in the day, leg locks were frowned upon. Like right. the Brazilians, like they'd be like, "Stop doing that shit. Learn to pass well, the guard." Still, isn't it still a little bit? Nah, now, now it's now, a, now it's no, a, now no, it's the no, fad. Everybody wants to yeah, do leg locks. Yeah, okay. But me and Tom the Blast were the original leg lockers. Like, but grapplers quest, and like grapplers and quest, heel hooks and shit. Grapplers quest banned heel hooks in the lower divisions because I. I literally broke somebody's shit in half with a leg lock. Like I was leg locking the shit out of everybody. To the point where Ricardo was like, you can't do leg locks no more. Learn to pass the fucking guard. Because mm. I kept just sitting back and leg locking everybody. Mm. And they wanted my jiu-jitsu to get better. But we were the original leg lockers. I mean, what's, I re- what's the th- dude th- that was in the UFC got booted out for leg locking everybody? Paul Harris. Paul, Paul, Paul Harris. Harris. Yep. Yeah. Like I can remember he was teaching Gary Tonin yeah, yeah, leg locks. Yep. That's how long ago like I was, really? you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. And Gary's like known for, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys, ma- him and Gordon now, they master the leg locks, you know? Okay, like, well that explains yeah. why you're good at it. But yeah. why, why did they, why... You kind of laugh it off when someone would Honestly, hit you with a heel hook. Honestly, because you, I've, been put in, are good? I've been in so many leg lock positions, and my ankles probably popped so many times that I think it builds a lot of scar tissue. Uh, so when you put me like that, he'll have me in a full-blown heel hook, and I'll I'll be fine because... It doesn't move. Yeah, it doesn't move because I think I just... My legs are so stiff because it's so much it's scar like tissue. It's like calcified, bro. Yeah. It's like a fucking... Yeah. Like I said, like a mummy. Yeah. 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 All right. Dude, it's better, it's better be careful. Yeah, they try to stack the odds against me and Rhino that day. They're like, let's get fucking, let's submit Dante. Frankie was fresh. He looked fresh. Like fresh. Yeah, like you, got, you got fucking 60 pounds on me. It was in the yeah. back pounding power aids and he came on. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> came with a mat fucking. What year would that have been roughly? Oh, who knows? 2005. 2005, maybe. Yeah. Your UFC career began shortly after that, didn't it? Seven, 2007. Seven, yeah. yeah. 2005. Five. Damn, I was in like elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Well, I start. I started up. fighting at twenty four. I was in the UFC by twenty six. What year did you UFC say you were champ born? By twenty eight. Ninety seven. I moved here in ninety eight, and I was twenty two. 
That's I moved crazy. here. I moved to Jersey in '92. And I lived in Forked River for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, for a year. Yeah, small world. I left Maine and looked for. I, I lived with my mother here for maybe a month in Tom's River, and I was looking for houses. Like back then, you were looking the paper. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, there was a house for rent in Forked River, and I went down there. I was like, fuck, I feel like I didn't even leave Maine. I'm back in my fucking hood down here. Yeah. Everybody would just get in four-wheel drive pickups, and we'd drive out in the woods and drink beer. It was kind of cool, you know? Yeah, no, no, you grew up in Maine, right? Sister, though. Up no Maine, one yeah. no was fucking her sister down there. Though. I know. It was, Maine nah, was way more close. cool was, because of that. <laughs> what the fuck? What's in Maine? Anything? Not a lot, White bro. people. White people. I think it's like one of the whitest states. I saw. I, saw, I think it's number three. Number three. Is it number three? Like wow. no, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine yeah. are like the top three or something like that. It's yeah. cold over there, right? It gets cold in the winter, man. You you, you got to be cool with like an eight month. Somebody winter. talked me once yeah, to go to Vermont, and I, the whole weekend I was like, man, fuck. Why you don't ski or snowboard or anything like that. I don't, I don't do anything humans are not supposed to do. What do you mean humans ain't supposed to do? I don't jump out of planes. I don't. Your bo- who's your friend, Jesse? Jesse yeah, yeah. Don't jump out of planes. Yeah. I said no thanks. I was man. supposed to go last Thursday with him, but I don't jump out of planes. He didn't make we the way. Have, listen, we don't he didn't make the way. You got to be two fifty. I'm like oh yeah, you seven. I just did this year. You did it? Yeah. Oh, I saw you. Yeah. Week, yeah, you did that one right off the parkway, right? It's literally right on the side of the parkway, right? Yeah, I believe yep. so. Oh, right? and wall, and wall. No, no, I, no, I went no. the one in, uh, in if Tuckerton. You're, if you're oh, coming- in Tuckerton or Vineland? It's south of Tuckerton. If you're it's like coming, Cross Keys. No, no it's Cross called, Keys is way down south. That's uh, where Jesse uh, okay, goes. Okay, right. It's called like Skydive East Coast. Yeah, yeah. It's I literally- it's true, but I heard it's pretty sketchy afterwards. If you're coming what? northbound- You went? You went or not? Yeah, I mean, I'm here. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. You went people hit me up Tandem, right? Tandem, right? Tandem. Yeah. Because, yeah. Roger, I'm so, ask them, I'm so scared of heights that I can't even look. If I'm in the Bro, top, I, I, I hate heights. heights. I'm, I'm afraid of heights, too. Hate heights. Not like me. You work it's all mental. Every day. Yeah, but- I mean, I heights, I mean, I don't like heights either, but like- No, I'm like, petrified. Like, I'll- I could go on a ladder. Can you go on a ladder? You can't go on a ladder? I don't go on ladders. What am I going on a ladder for? For what? Let's change a fucking light bulb. I don't change light I pay people to change I don't fucking do nothing, man. I don't fucking risk it. No. Okay, shit. okay, okay. Say there's a fucking fire. Yeah. And He's you got to go up on a ladder to go up to the fucking roof to escape this fire to get to a different roof where the house ain't on fire. What I'm do you probably, do? I'm probably burnt the fuck up. You're going to burn. I, Your feet will be scared. fine, though. His feet will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those calcified feet. <laughs> They'll identify. It'll just be feet. Be. It'll just be cool. We'll just see feet. <laughs> we'll go back. It's like the Wicked Witch of the <laughs> East. Stand up. Wait, oh, let me see. I think is this the picture you sent me? Oh yeah, <laughs> I got a. Yeah. I talk. I called him the other day and I told him. I said, "Bro, I had to escape out of a burning building." Look, Dude, that's you. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, how could you do that? Exactly. That ain't you. Yes, yeah, it's no, it's him. On the ground. That's on but the ground. No, that's on the ground. Look, that's what I thought. That's on the ground. I gotta go all the way to the fire escape. Look. What? Yo, you ain't that scared of heights, then? Not at all. That ain't real. That's that's a Halloween fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was flat, flat yeah, but it's definitely yeah, yeah, Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberty Science. That's a Halloween yeah, thing. It's flat. Yeah, uh, it's flat. Yeah, yeah. With a mirror and they show how to do Frankie's that staring at her in his face. Uh, I can tell from I over here. I should have said it to Frankie. Oh, I know. Roger. Roger's fucking, he's I, like a God, f- you fucking forensic. Uh, jump out, wait, oh, you actually believed it? I believe it. I jumped out of a fucking I called him right out. I said, you are not. On there, you're afraid of everything. You ain't <laughs> Listen, if you were jumping out of the window, you definitely stole something. <laughs> yeah, there's a cop right behind him. He calls me up. He's like, "Yo, just my luck, bro." And I was like, "What?" And he goes, "Yo, I just had to jump out of a burning building." <laughs> I and he sent me the picture. Scale across the way. He's like, like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" And I still like this is the first time you're telling me it was fake. <laughs> it's the most gullible dude I've ever. Uh, bro, you're a yeah. cop. Cops like, "Yeah, uh, bro, speeding." Uh, you know, shit <laughs> fell down. My my hit the gas, and I. All right, I'll see you later. He has to help me take my t sh- my shirt off sometimes because my shoulders, but I'm gonna hang off the fucking ledge of a building. <laughs> I'm okay to do that, right? Uh, Oh, shit. He doesn't think too much. Definitely not thinking, bro. Aren't you in college? No, I just believe in my coach. You know what I'm saying? You can't. There you go. <laughs> See, that's a good I'm answer. A, that is a solid everything. answer. Make Luke sure was like, that's not. Yeah, no way. Ash analyzed it. Ash is like, I didn't have to. It doesn't look real. Like a, Ash was like analyzing. He's like, your feet are off. It's not on the brick. I'm like, man, shut the fuck How much? Yeah. How long did you stare at the picture? <laughs> they take a measure. Yeah, I just looked at it. Really trying to look for the shadows. You were doing like a push up to look like you were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was actually pretty cool. I took a bunch of cool p- pictures to see how to do that in movies. Like Spider Man scaling across the building. No, movies a little different. Like CGI, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. now, but back in the like, day, yeah, yeah, that's like how they, they did. They did yeah. fucking King Kong in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, that's how they did it. It's my era. It's definitely my era. I was like, the old King Kong was a good movie. Back when you yeah. guys were 20. Do you remember any movies when you were like a kid that scared you when you watch them now? Hell and yeah. They're well, fucking horrible. Like mm. Cujo was one for me. Hellraiser. 
Hellraiser. Hellraiser is still a little scary. scary Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Hell yeah. Still a little the scary first, though, the bro. first Halloween got me. Yep. Yep. First Halloween, bro. Scared the shit out of me. Exorcist was the one that got me. Exorcist That's still scares you. I was five. Exorcist. I was bro, five Exorcist years old. Exorcist is still scary. And I like, don't fucking watch and that like, shit. And uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we, we grew up in, in, you know, as a you Catholic know they filmed and stuff, bro. They filmed oh, a little man, scenes right at Lakewood from The Exorcist. Yeah? yeah? Was no, it that's, Exorcist or The Omen? No, that's Amityville Horror. Amityville. No, that's yeah. Tom Jerver. That was no, filmed at yeah. Tom Jerver. And Georgia Court College. That was that's downtown scene. Tom Jerver. It's either Omen or The Exorcist. They filmed the scene. And I'm talking Court about College. Amityville Horror. Obviously, yeah. that happened like upstate yeah. New York, but they it's filmed Long it Island, downtown. Yeah, yeah, that Long Island, you're right. Yep, yep. Um, but there's yeah. a, there's like a possessed scene. I think it's a, o, the Omen or Exorcist. If you go to Georgia Court College, that windy road yeah, of Lakewood, yeah, yeah, and they yeah, have yeah. that. If you look to the right, they have that little courtyard yeah. with like a Mary statue. It's in there that they filmed it. No shit. Mm. Mary, like yeah, they have like a Mary picture. Mother, Mother, Mother Mary. Mary yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Poltergeist, another one. How about half the half the people in the movie cast died from the, yes, yeah. that? Yes, that little girl, that scary. little girl that. died, right? What? Like five people uh, died. People during the filming of it were. Didn't they little... say like is because they, like, that the um it was cursed? Yeah, cursed, it's cursed. Right? Yeah, I yeah. believe the little girl died in a different movie set. Remember the little girl that was in there? I could have the story. The blonde hair chick. Wrong. In Poltergeist, I could yeah. have this. I could have this totally wrong. Look this something, up. What did she do? What did she do? Like something oh, in there? I don't know. She did something. Didn't she get TV? Right? Yeah. She got in, she got sucked into the TV. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Now every yeah. time yeah. she's standing on TV, it freaks me the fuck out. I think she died in another movie in a helicopter scene where the helicopter literally like cut her in half or something in a like, different movie. Wait, what? That's how she died. That's a, I could have that. This was probably but, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's Jeez. one way to look at it. Luke's a little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, it could be like, not worse, but yeah, like, I she, suppose she suffer if it just took her. What's what would be the worst way to die for you? Fire, I think, or drowning. I would not want to listen, get but I hear about by what, another what, animal. What I yeah, but, I was thinking that too. That would be. But I hear of like fire. It's got to suck, right? They say drown. Which I mean, I don't know how the fuck you can ask somebody this, but yeah, when they say as soon as you take that <gasps> that breath, it's peaceful. Yeah, I'd take drowning over fire any day. How yeah. about getting eaten by a shark while you're drowning? Uh, that, I mean, that, that would be god awful for and me. The top of the water, can it? Covered in gasoline, on fire. I think, I think, I think getting, huh? I think getting killed by a chimpanzee. Did you get killed? That would be tough. Yeah, because they're gonna, like, they're gonna rip, rip your you dick you off first. Yeah, they, yeah. Got, first, they're the ripping your though. dick off, bro. Lions do that because too. Because they're, they're, uh, they're, it's like dominance, dominance. They know they're like, Shh, you ain't, a, you ain't yeah. shit. Yeah. I was they'll pull your face off. I was talking about this the other day in a building in New York. I said, imagine. Looking out a window, God, I mean, God bless these people. Nine Eleven, that you had to choose, either do I want to get burned to death or jump no. out this building? I, how do you choose that? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like you you have to jump. I'm not gonna burn. I'm gonna throw What's someone the... with me and try to land on them. I'm gonna no, try. No. Like, yeah, I feel like you gotta have <laughs> that <laughs> last ditch. What's the famous? There's a famous about. picture. I think it's called like Black Boots or something like that. The jumper where he's upside down. Yeah, he's like up. Hands, he's got it. Jack, don't they call it like? Uh, I think it's a jumper. Is it yeah, the yeah, jumper? Yeah, yeah, jumper. Is yeah, that yeah, it? Yeah. His hands are by his side. What a, he's... what a, you know, I mean, uh, w- that man had a lot of time to think on his way down. Yeah, you know, it's be you cool. wonder, you wonder, like, right? What is that? Mm. Is it like w- when you sky no, when I, you I skydive? Think... You, you're thinking, right? You were thinking. Well, there. You, yeah. you don't think you're dying. That guy knew. No, he no, was but dying. you're still thinking. So I mean, if you could they think say, in that moment, you gotta yeah. be able to think. I think they said that. Are you in shock? Are you in shock? Do you have like a heart attack? Because you know you're gonna. I don't know. I don't think that is the worst. I, I I like when I, I was when I was ready a, to feel talk, it. speaking of movies, you know? right? like speaking of movies, the there was this uh, series uh, out when I was yeah. a kid. When I was a yeah, little kid, the death roll, yeah, ripping an arm off. It was something? called Faces of Death. Oh, I love oh Faces hell yeah! Of death. And when Bro. I was a kid, I would watch those, and I would I would you Faces know, of Death would be like excited. No, you couldn't yeah, pay yeah. me enough to watch no, that shit. Now. Faces of Death was when they were like when they were beating the monkey in the head and spinning. Bro, how about the lady get hit by the train? Right? I remember the one dude had elephant titties of the nuts. Yeah, you said that one. He was carrying his nutsack around. People he was sitting my, down like on a chair. He was sitting on his nutsack. People mistake my nuts for having that. They're just <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Literally, you'd be you'd be sitting really? where you are, and, no and that'd nuts. be his nutsack. I'm all dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's Frankie. Man, remember the show <laughs> Tales from the Dark Side? Yes. No, yeah. the Crypt trees. Keeper. The Crypt Keeper. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but that was more funny than scary. It was. it was. No, no. They Tales from the yeah, Dark Side had the eerie music in the beginning. That was the black dude. The black dude, right? Tales from the Dark Side. No, that's that's like the the mimic one. Tells them the, uh, the, 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 the <laughs> that's like the 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 parody one. Uh, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, Tales from the Dark Side had the woods. I like, remember the, had that eerie music. Yep, yep. We had yeah. a thousand ways to die. That was just about to say that thousand was, ways to die. Was like crazy ways people have died. Right, like they were like almost reenacted and stuff. 
getting sucked into machinery has got to suck too, like oh. a PTO shaft or something like that, and just absolutely because it literally just ro- and your your brain is probably still functioning as your body is literally just crumpling into yeah. shreds, and you're getting slung all around the room. The scene, I can't watch it like that anymore. Do you remember? Well, this is probably you guys are probably like little, little, but remember when the Iraq War was going on yeah. and those Which beheading one, wait, videos, did, did, like on yeah. the dark web, you could yeah. they would send you like a link and be like, look at this. And I can't watch that shit, man. It it's crazy. so I don't know. It just bothers me now as a human. I've yeah, got, I never you, got into that. Frankie shit. has no. Uh, like, like no, how, no I never watched that. Shit. The intro was. Frankie has it's now zero just empathy. So remember this. I remember that. I do. She used to fuck. I was a kid. Bobby's getting scared now. That she used to freak me out. And if you look at it now, I remember, all they're doing is yep. showing grass and flowers. Yeah. The music, though. Yeah, look. The That's music. It. Anytime you're watching a scary movie, if you literally just yeah. hit volume down and you turn the volume off, it's not scary yeah, anymore. It's not scary anymore. Let I me mean, think about Jaws. It would have been nothing without that soundtrack. Well, you know Jaws, what I mean? well, yeah. Jaws scared me. Or even. Nah, even nah. Um, Friday the 13th. No, that's yeah. Jaws. What was Friday yeah. the 13th? Friday the 13th was... Uh, One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Friday Freddy Krueger you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Friday the yeah. yeah. Freddy Krueger yeah. used to scare me. Kill, 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 kill. Cock, 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 cock. It's not kill, but it's just... That's why all the older slashers were scary, because they had those soundtracks. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. If they did less... You always see some titties. There was always titties in the movie. You know what he's actually saying, I believe? Yeah. Kill Ma. What? Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. Yes, it is. The fuck out of here. Yes, know. it is. Kill Jason Ma. Jason Voorhees. Somebody right? check that out. I don't know. Wow. That's How did he end he's up? He's saying. Sh- 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 oh, watch. Yeah, I think it's ain't no M. M. I don't know I M. Think, I think he's right. I think I've, I've seen like. Yeah, you that. just. You just. I thought it was. You just. 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 You Let's get it all. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's saying it. Look, I'm fucking reading it right now. Look, nah, you're scrolling. Know. It doesn't seem like you're. But it's music <laughs> that is way more terrifying than the actual yeah, movie. Yeah. Sounds, like if you just sure. sat in a dark, if you were in your bedroom with nothing on, lights out, and that fucking music came on, you'd be scared shitless. Yeah. I don't you know, even turn sure. my lights on. I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> are you? I'm literally scared. Of, you know what's How fun? are you scared? You know what the funny You're thing is? You're a straight killer. You're scared Listen, of the dark. You know what the funny thing is? I'm going to tell, tell you. We're talking about this, right? I'm fucking pressure. I'm like a big pussy. I'm scared. Movie. I'm scared to death. I turn the movie. I hear noise. I freak. But if 10 guys try to fight me, yeah, I fight yeah, all 10 guys. That's what I'm saying. Not, not, even a, not even a shred. And like if somebody was robbing a bank with a gun, in my head I'd be like, I'm taking the gun out of this yeah. motherfucking hand. I'm, I'm saving everybody. Well, I think... But everything else, yeah. I'm the biggest like... Like I've so, been in a situation so, with so, six guys in a so car if, and if, I get out. I'm like, let's fight. And they're like, he's out of his mind. He's fucking crazy. You know? right, so, well, because so the most if, scary... If, like a, if a fucking... If like... The girl from uh, the ring was robbing the bank. You fucked oh, it. Fuck that bank's getting that. robbed, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like that girl. Look, bro. I don't like. Bro, I don't even watch evil movies because I feel like I'm all possessed afterwards. I fucking what? don't like. Them. I feel possessed. Well, I'm fucking scared of shit. Out well, of I, it's it's. I feel like it's the what you now. what's what's not human, right? What you can't yeah. kill scares yeah. you, right? Scares or what you can't up. see. Yeah. What do you mean though? Scares what what, 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 what oh, Okay. Wait. 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 Go ahead, what is there that you can't kill? What is there that you can't kill? That, right? that, he, that he should be Freddy scared. Can't but he's, he's not, not gonna, real. I understand, but I'm just saying. Like I, it, he said, ten men and you just brought up fucking the ring girl. She's not yeah, real. I know. That's she's what I'm not saying, real. Though. I would say I'm like, saying, he's though. not robbing a bank. Think they, they of it like this. In I know. A, in another dimension, Freddy, Freddy Krueger might be real. <laughs> what dimension, bro? <laughs> there's there's <laughs> ultimate. They, the universe. Ultimate, 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 ultimate,
It's one like this, this is serious. They said it's one like bro, us and like a pig are close in DNA. Yeah, too. but but a gorilla is one little one little percent, like a two percent change in your DNA. I, don't, I think we need to fact check that. No, but it's like a it's that close. It's, close. it's that it's close. close. So imagine if it was like if your DNA was altered by f- and that it's that much of a difference between the ape's brain and ours. Right. If it's only like a one or two percent difference in DNA, imagine if we figured out how to alter our DNA ten percent. Right. What we'll be able to do. I was this is one of these fucking crazy astrophysicists I was listening to. He says <laughs> Bro, bro. <laughs> so that's get, space. Whatever the fuck they do, I don't know what they call them. It is though actually he is an astrophysicist. Okay. So he's just he smart as hell. Actually. So he was saying <laughs> where 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 are you listening? Where are you he where was do saying, you come across? He was saying the DNA the DNA difference between a human and a gorilla is like two percent. Oh, one thing, one percent. Yeah. Imagine if you could alter your DNA and change it ten percent to the better. Mm-hmm. How what we could possibly do with our brains right. if we're that much. What's more the evolved, first thing you would do? I would just fucking probably walk the walls and rob every. You would one hundred percent. No, you would one hundred percent go down to AC and clear them out. Yeah, the yeah, first, yeah. yeah. The first, yeah, first thing he does. The first he'd be like the fucking numbers just yeah, start yeah. going. The first thing I do is like torture these motherfuckers. Like walk through their walls. Like fuck with them. Like I was a ghost and shit. Um. What? So okay. You subscribe to that theory. Go ahead, sir. I'm saying. So you're saying this, but what about like you've heard the Neuralink? It's like Elon Musk is that they're gonna put like a chip uh, into your yeah. brain. Yeah, they're gonna and then enhance, and enhance, yeah, like, enhance would, would, would you be in line to get that done? If it's gonna keep me alive, I don't wanna die at hundred years old. You wanna live longer than hundred? Fuck yeah. Isn't I it about quality of life though? I wanna die when I have no quality when I'm shitting my pants. What if, yeah. what if, I wanna die. I wanna live I wanna live. I wanna, li- I wanna see that. what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? I think I wanna I wanna be Listen, he's going to make... Walt Disney freeze his head or some shit? He's frozen. Cry his whole, whole, bo- frozen. His whole body's frozen. Allegedly. And, uh, and the thought process is technology will advance his yeah. whole body or just his brain? I already have his head. Yeah. Just his, his head. I'm picturing him uh, in a tube floating, but yeah. that could be wrong. Well, isn't it yeah, his yeah. thought process was technology will well, advance so much. he does so, that thing so with the much, They're going to make You just need your man. brain and you can still be functioning, right? You, you, yeah. know, you, know, you know what's funny? When he does that neural link, they're gonna end up making like an Iron Man, like Iron Man. So but that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, and he was in the first Iron Man. Mm. Elon Musk. Oh yeah, I know. He walked by, shook his head, like, mm. "Hey, Elon, like Tony Stark." Six Think degrees about that. Of separation. Yeah, it's crazy. So he's probably in his head after Iron Man. He was a big Iron Man fan. He's oh, that's thinking. fucking strong. It that's strong. Yeah, let's do the Neuralink. Listen, I, after Iron Man, I <laughs> never know. He's probably think I bet you I could make an Iron Man suit. I'd let people rush the beach. I'm not the first in line. Yeah, there. you guys. Have yeah, line. no, but listen, that, listen, I'm I'm that way too. I'm like I'm like I'm like I'd rather be like a. I don't know what, we, what those people be called. I'm a purist, or I'm a I'm a, I'm a humanist. Yeah, I'm a humanist. I'm not messing with the, or, the artificial shit until everybody has the artificial shit, and then you're like mm-hmm. the only dude that can't. Everyone's talking without without speaking, or everyone's exchanging ideas without even like having. Like a, you phones. know what I mean? There's people yeah. that are like, I'm not getting the iPhone. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Be, and then, and then it's, this is going to be like right, that exactly, movie iRobot, exactly. and these motherfuckers are going to be ripping. And, and I'm going to do Will Smith. It was around before. Yeah, yeah. I'm it was around before but even Will that Smith movie. had the, the yeah. fake kid, yeah, the, the robot. The bionic man, the $10 million yeah. man. Remember yeah. when I was yeah. a kid, that was around. The bionic man. Bionic man, sorry, yeah. But what they call it? the $6 million man. $6 million. That's what it was, yeah, yeah. That's a 10, but six, yeah. Only six. It's inflation. Inflation. Yeah, Rogers is thinking about America. Yeah. Rogers like the $500,000. Man. <laughs> oh shit's expensive now. Yeah, it is. I went to Everything fucking Dick's expensive. today. I bought two sweatsuits, four hundred dollars for two sweatsuits. What? What kind yeah. of sweatsuits? You don't Nike. get enough. Sweatsuits? Oh, like Nike. Uh, the Nike tax. Yeah, yeah. Two fucking four hundred dollars for. Wait, what? Four hundred dollars for two sweatsuits. I don't know why I missed that, but that's crazy. Yeah, mm. five, five years ago, four hundred dollars. I would have bought ten, six yeah. sweatsuits out of yeah. it. Right? Gym memberships just went up, boys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> needs more sweatsuits. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Eric just went shopping at my house. <laughs> I left for like, like 10 pairs of shit. Uh, yeah. no, like the same yeah. Too bad he wears a size fucking 10 shoe. All right. Be doing the same. Yeah. Well, who told you to be fucking six foot eight like a gorilla? <laughs> I can't squeeze in your shoes. I see uh, your dad comes to all your fights. Biggest fan you got, right? See, yeah, uh, he's so. actually, he's my hands coach. So yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. No oh, he him. was a boxer. No mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, he was a boxer. Yeah. Wow. Well, he boxed when he was younger. He did golden gloves. Uh, he didn't pursue it pro. He had to take over... Uh, he, he's from Cuba, so right on. They oh, came wow. here. They started, uh, like his dad started finding work and stuff. Ended up owning a supermarket. And then he went to prison uh, for nine years. And then my dad 
couldn't like pursue pro anything or mm. college, so he just worked in the supermarket, ran with his mom right and his sisters, and then that's why he's like so big on like. That was Florida. No, he he lived in Newark. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had, they, we ended up moving back to Florida. Well, he ended up moving to Florida for the first time, like uh, a little bit before him and my mom like mm. got married. They dated for six months. He's like, I'm leaving. You can come marry me or not. It's mm. a pretty cool story, but. Yeah. Yeah, you're that's, you're that's a two oh five er. I gotta ask yeah. uh, who who's the goat at two oh five for you, John Jones? John Jones. I agree. Yeah. yeah. A goat of an in pound for pound any weight class. Who, who, yeah, who, who, I mean it just like I'm still just, John Jones. Yeah, he just did that. Just yeah. the way he did it was so yep. cool. Yep. So it was cool. I mean when I was growing up that was the guy I was like right. that's the coolest fighter I've ever seen when yep. it comes to like once I was growing, I was getting a little bigger, I was like, That's I wanna be that guy. Right. You know, so yep. and he's still at the yeah. top of the game. Still somehow just. Can you, can you imagine if he doesn't fuck up and he was how talented that kid is? But does that make his story look not cooler? But in the sense of like, mm. yeah, everybody, everybody fucks up. The problem is makes him human. For listen, sure. the, pro yeah. the, pro the problem is we got a spotlight. On. You got a spotlight on you when you're at that level. Yeah, Everything you do is amplified. Everybody fucks up. Everybody thinks they want to be famous till you're famous. Yeah, everybody. Ev fucking not everybody. A, not a everybody's thing. in your fucking business. Everybody fucks up. You know, people are like, oh, you don't. You are out posting. I post once a month. I don't like everybody in my business. Mm. You don't got to know what I ate yesterday. You right. don't got to know what restaurant I'm at. And I tell these guys, it was fucking filming. I said, you know, you not, not not that this is the thing I'm thinking, but what if I smack the shit out of somebody and I leave? And they're like, oh, I wasn't there. It wasn't me. And they're like, well, your Instagram says you're fucking here at the same exact time. Like, you never know. Only Dante Rivera would that's, think like that. That's yeah. how, you, that's how you. he's thinking. Yeah. Yeah. But I just don't Only like, a fucking straight gangster would I, think like I, that. I don't, I don't need everybody to know my every yeah. fucking whereabout. These well, guys got works fucking, for you. That's probably good for you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not, they're filming their fucking plates. I yeah. look at his, you know, I hate social media right now. I never understood posting food. Like, we yeah. all eat food. You're eating a great Phone meal. Phone eats first. Yeah. Yeah. Phone, Phone eats, eats first. first. <laughs> yeah. You know what I hate about social media now? Everybody thinks they're everybody thinks they're fucking psychologists. Yep. They got all these girls. Everybody's a psychologist. That. That's it. Everybody's a self help everybody, coach. Yeah. Everybody's, yeah. A everybody's a fucking fuck fitness coach. Yeah. Everybody's a health coach. Yeah, yeah bro. Stop you listen, I'm gonna tell you this. Sorry. Go I'll ahead. cut you off again. Go ahead. These, to these young fighters, stop telling me what the fuck you're gonna do yeah. and do, do it. it right? Stop telling me. Yeah. All yeah. these guys want to tell you what they're gonna do. Yeah. There's, 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 about a, there's a select few that too. could fucking spit it and, and, or and these, put it out there. Or these motivational speakers. Or these energy. And some of them. Some oh, of them are good. Some of I them have, are good. I have but your energy. Just, now every everybody up. wants and everybody to be thinks one. they're an actor, an actress with TikTok. If Get you just fuck talk with like the utmost confidence and you're just a confident person. Everybody will just be like, holy yeah. shit, this guy knows what he's talking about. I always say that. You know what I mean? If you just act be, like yeah, you're yeah. super confident about what Not you a say. Lot of people will pull, pull your card. Tons right, of people right, are going right. to believe what you say. Yeah. Tons Wait, of Because you want to know why? Because the people that believe, there's so much, I, I, unfortunately. The world of betas. There's just so much, so many weak fucking right. males course, out weak, there. Yeah. Weak. Especially males. I'm sure there's weak, weak, weak females too, but weak. there's weak males that buy into these dudes. Like, I don't know. These self-help guys, these, these, these coaches, like. The stuff they say, a lot of the stuff they say, I, I kind of agree with. But the way they come across, I'm, like, I'm not going to be like looking into this guy trying to buy his book or listen to his shit because yeah. I'm not that type of person. But there's so many dudes out there that we, love these guys. They say these the, to the toxic masculinity. Yes. Like, you know what? That's not a bad thing. If you want to be not yeah. masculine and feminine, okay, but you can't be like, oh, you're toxic. I'm not, first of all, my father, let me tell you something. My, I was raised, my father raised eight kids. Okay, we lived in a fucking projects in a building, eight brothers and sisters, and we moved from there, from the Bronx to Queens, and then from Queens to New Jersey, moved his way up, worked, never had a social life, worked seven hours a week. I could count the amount of times I've seen him smile on my hand. He was a mean man. Mm. That was, you know what? And he, if he wasn't toxic masculine, he wasn't raising eight fucking kids like that. He wasn't working seven hours. He came home from work. He looked at me. He looked at the family, made a face. Everybody started doing it. Went to the dinner table, ate. That was it. And my father was strict as hell. And I used to hate it back then. And now I realize that the discipline in my life mm -hmm. allowed me to do, like, even with my fighting career, I never fucking did anything. I, was, I played basketball. I started fighting in my mid twenties and made it like I didn't like Frankie was a great wrestler. Mm -hmm. He had a ba everybody had a fun. I just was in jujitsu. I started with jujitsu and I was in the gym seven eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. And mid I didn't start when I was fifteen fourteen. So I just was disciplined and my father is still disciplining me like yeah. you know, like that's it. And if he wasn't like that toxic man whatever you want to call it right 
then I wouldn't have been raised that. My family, went, all my brothers and sisters are well off because they were raised the right way, you know? Mm -hmm. My father, my mother never had a driver's license. She stayed home, raised the kids, cooked every day, and my father worked, that's it. Mm -hmm. And now everybody's, and then my father was the oldest of like 12, and my grandparents died when he was like 15, he, he, and he supported all the younger Damn. siblings. Wow. Like, Old school. Yeah. And now you go, oh, you're toxic, man. What the fuck? Somebody ever says that to me, mm. you're a good chance I'm going to spread my fingers and smack you in your mm. face. <laughs> Guaranteed, right? I, I like, mean, this is just my here. opinion as yeah. a parent. Um, yeah. You're you're not a parent yet, but yeah. I, but anyway. Yeah, got, well, he's that, a couple. Yeah, a couple, yeah. couple. We've got a couple. Well, Frankie is. But anyway, is that parents want to be their, their kid's friend now. And they, <laughs> they don't want to actually parent and lay down the law or do anything yeah. strict or do anything tough. It's like, it's like they cater. They think children... And I'm talking about young kids are capable of decision making to make like life choices, and they're not. Like they the fucking my kids, off. my kids still believe. I wasn't talking <laughs> yes. about that, but that's one of them. My kids still believe in fucking. Uh, there's a dude in the North Pole that you know shows up on yeah. fucking Christmas Eve they're and delivers. Kids. There's not that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. I ruined that for they're, you. They're programmed right. to need assistance. Right. Listen, yeah. these kids, big men. They could work, to, but they still need guidance. Sure. Oh, everybody they're, needs guidance. They're in their though. 20s. Everybody needs guidance. They're in their 20s. They don't know their ass from their elbow still. Right. God, I mean, unfortunately. Mm. They're good kids. They're fucking men. They work. They do, but they still, they still sometimes, like, but listen, shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. This is what you got to do. This, that. They still need. So imagine a fucking little kid. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're in your 20s and you still need guidance, right. sometimes I still need guidance. I'm fucking 49. Everybody you know needs guidance. Yeah, yeah, we sure. all do. So, so imagine a kid but, whose brain didn't develop. That's why I hate these martial arts that they give kids. Oh, my, my son's a black belt. He's mm -hmm. karate mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. He's 12. He's not right. a black belt. Right. He might be like jujitsu is where I love jujitsu. Because they have the equivalent, like a kid could get to like orange belt, right? right? And he's like the equivalent of like a kid's black, you know what I mean? Yep. But he ain't a black belt. You know why he ain't a black belt? Because me as a black belt, I got people calling me telling me, Professor, I think I'm going to kill myself. Professor, my wife cheated me. I got a mental, I got to be able to tell these. Right. And mentally, I have to be a black belt. I have to be stable. I have to save them in these situations. They look mm -hmm. to me for these. Now, you giving a kid at 12 years old is not a role model. He's mm -hmm. still a kid. He don't have the the capacity to be Mental a role model or even talk you off a ledge like that. Mm -hmm. And then again, if you're a black belt physically, I'm a black belt. If three guys never trained and I'm a black belt jiu-jitsu, no offense, I should be able to whoop you three. Mm -hmm. I, I should. I should be in shape. A 12-year-old kid, no matter what fucking level is, ain't beating up a grown man. Right, right. It's just 12. <laughs> yeah. You give him a full set, I'm a black belt. You so throw a kick, I get his teeth knocked out. <laughs> interesting to me because yeah. a guy that never trained, it wasn't available to me where I grew up in Maine. Yeah. This is interesting to me. So you you feel like maturity is a great part of course of ga gaining belts. Of course, uh, yeah, it has to yeah, be. Of course. course, of course. I mean, like you know, um, that's so, why high school guys can't compete in college. Right, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Listen, right. Put it well, no, there way. are probably guys that could be on a competitive level that are, but but we're talking about like socially mature, right? Like like he's saying that. But look at it like this: I'm a white belt in jujitsu. I make it the blue belt. What's my job now as a blue belt? Right. To learn and to also get the white belts the blue belt. Now I'm mm. a purple belt. Now my job is to help the white and blue belts get the purple belt as long as I learn enough to get the brown belt. Yeah. You understand? Now right. I'm a brown belt. It's go so on and so on and so on. I'm a black belt. My job is to get you guys to that level now. So as a guy that didn't train, I always thought if you, if you, this is how I thought it worked. You know, obviously I'm wrong. Is Definitely. that you're, <laughs> well, this is good. Come Other people out there probably don't know Franklin. So let's just explain it. I thought if you showed up at your regular classes, you were there every week, you were putting the time in, like at a year, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you got yeah, awarded another. You're saying if a kid eight years old gets into it, literally never misses a class, you as a coach are not giving, you're not getting that I kid. I don't hand belt. Let me tell right. you No, no, right. it, listen, no, me, but no, but it doesn't work like that. No, you can't get a black belt as a kid in no, jiu-jitsu. No. You just can't. You can only as get to an orange belt. Yeah. Until you're 16, well, then you go to blue. Oh, I didn't I'm know sorry. that. Okay. Well, black belt, you got to be, gotta be so over 18, I think, in jiu-jitsu to get it. I won't no, get no, a black belt. No, 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 listen to me. But when at, you're 16, 16 you'll get, you get a blue, get a blue belt. belt. That's yeah. when you get a blue belt. At, yes. uh, at, 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 you could be the best 15-year-old in the world. You're only getting a fucking orange belt. I see. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can't be a black belt at that age. Yeah. Right. And you got to earn it. You chop your dick and, off and, at 12. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the fuck out of here. Can you imagine that? 
<laughs> what if this kid when he's 20 changes his mind like fuck mom like he's gonna you took my dick saw, off they can't I get saw, tattoos i feel like we always get a tattoo. Three things you can't do so i feel yeah. like we always get down this range we always get a bunch of haters because we they think we're just fucking heartless scumbags but <laughs> fuck them we started it yeah. Yeah. i saw um something on some social media site probably instagram today where somebody was out in the street i think he was at a liberal college area and he was asking students like you know do you think um a 12 year old should be allowed to drink and they're like of course not they're not capable yeah. of making yeah. decisions yeah. they're not capable yeah. of you know they can't do that that's they're they're too young and then you know of course the follow-up question is do you think they're capable of assigning their gender at yeah. 12 and they're like yeah of course they should like what the fuck well they say you know of course they're close because they're scared of backlash or other people right, say right you don't you weren't capable of making logical decisions at 12 years right. old you understand you're 12 you're a kid mm. there's a reason why you're a kid if that's the case then you'd be considered a fucking adult right all right now if you're 18 and you want to do that i support you Same. i have no power with nobody Same. but a fucking kid like you're kidding me if i have a kid and i put him in school right. and she's gonna tell him are oh, you sure what gender right no offense you Whatever teacher you are, you get front kicked out the fucking front window. Yeah. Either that or they're gonna fuck it. Or I'm gonna tie your ankle to the bumper. No offense to anybody who's listening. Yeah. Homeschool, yeah. homeschool. Yeah, that's it. No, I'm with you. I think kid you is know, a kid, and a kid, and I'm you your become parent. You an adult, do whatever you want to do. I see these teachers like yeah, I, I don't care what kids, you think. Bro. I should be able to tell your you. Kid be what you want to be the influence on your kids. My kid yeah. is gonna do what I want my kid to do. Yeah, that's it. That's how it was in my yeah. household. Hell yeah. And I Same. now my father was very a respectable man. Yeah. You can't do nothing but respect what my father did. I don't, a parent is tough, and my mother was a disciplinarian, because my dad was always working, similar to you, you definitely had it yeah. rougher than me, I'm not comparing the two, but my dad was always working, my mom was a disciplinarian, she ruled with an iron fist, but you know, what my mother said fucking ruled, I would never say, my daughter, I told Frankie this, maybe a year ago, came, came to my house like on a Friday, got dropped off, she's like, daddy, I'm a vegan, I said, my exact words were, and I said, she's like seven, but I was like, the fuck you are. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. So we settled on she doesn't have to eat pork. I was like, yeah. all right, I can live with that. You yeah. don't have to eat, because she likes pigs. Okay. You ain't a fucking vegan. When you turn 18, you- I like pigs. I'll, They're yeah. delicious. I'll yeah. buy you all the lettuce yeah. Yeah. salad you want when you're a fucking Same adult. Same thing. If I, I have a kid, all I support it If fully. I have a kid, he's 18. Seven. If I have a kid, he's 18. Yeah. He's like, listen, I'm gay. Good for you. Yeah. I you're right. You're right. If I have a kid, he's 18. He's like, dad, I'm gay. Uh, okay. okay. God bless you. Yeah. But before that, when you're a kid and you're not sure, yep. I'm like, take your time. Same. Take your time. Wait till you're old enough to make a response. We keep using Don't put me. that dick in your mouth till you're 18, kid. <laughs> 18, 19. I mean, 18, 19. Till you're little We older. keep using 18 as a magic number because it's considered an adult. Yeah. I just think when you're mature enough, yeah, whatever mature age enough, that might yeah. be, you know what I mean? It's not. It's certainly not fucking 12. Yeah. I don't know any 12-year-olds that can, yeah. you know. And people are like, well, I know fi mature 15-year-olds. I say, yeah, they're mature. What's up, guys? Make sure you find and follow us on Rumble. We're really trying to push the Rumble. It's got a great platform. I think you really like us on there. At Champion and Tramp, make sure you follow us. Let's get ready to rumble, oh. young man, rumble. Right. Go tell them to get their own house, pay their own bills. Yeah, yeah. That's when you know how real mature exactly. you are. Exactly. When you pay your own bills and you yep. support people yep. and you got to break your your yep. whole mentality changes. When yep. you got to be responsible for money every month so you can live, then you mature. Yep. Then you understand what it is to be a real human in the world. Now, when somebody's, you ain't mature if somebody's paying all your fucking bills. I for agree. You. Just I saying, agree. You ain't. I mean, I, I do think. Let me rephrase that. If you're at home and you're a wife and you take care of your husband yeah. and he's paying for everything, that's 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 that's, sure. that's a true. That's different. You're taking care of your husband. You deserve to be taken care of. I will say. That's it. I will say this from a financial standpoint, yeah. and and disagree with me if you will, Frank. You definitely yeah. will. It is mm -hmm. tougher to make it now as a kid financially than it was when I, w I was out on my own when I was tw I moved to Jersey when I was 22 I was paying my dad rent when I, I was 18 I tell you what I had it when I was 22 you know what I mean but off can you imagine a kid now trying to buy a fucking house imagine oh, yeah, you know, I can't even buy a car it's crazy now I can't know? even buy so, two sweatsuits that I spent so I get what you're saying I totally get but no kid with a starting you know a starting out career making whatever they're making is gonna buy a, even a fucking car now you know yeah. car, listen I bought I had to I had the CLS 450 like years back, like four years back. I paid, I, I think, 87000 for it, right? Same car now with all the same features, nothing, actually less features. Same exact car. They want 99 for it now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Everything's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's like crazy. And the crazy. interest is through the roof. It's, yeah, it's everything's nuts. crazy. So I do, I do, and, and I'm kind of speaking to you guys because you're a younger generation, not as young as my kids, obviously, but I do sort of feel bad for kids. It's almost like they're fucking starting out so in the hole, it's hard to even get out the gate, you know what I mean? So yeah. They're closer to your kids than they are to you, actually. That is true. Oh, me, is true. Me, me as well. Yep. Listen, the way this world's going, man, they're gonna, everybody's like, Oh, you gotta be more easy. You gotta be more less aggressive. No. Yeah, Un- until somebody's robbing you in the fucking alley, yep. and then 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 it's okay for me to fucking then, try to use then it's for me to be a fucking animal, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then then I can rip somebody's head off for you, right? Then then it's okay. Yeah. Like people, you know, people that talk- just happened to some guy in the Bronx that was pe- very pe- outspoken and yeah, people you know, don't understand because they've never been in a situation. Like they've never what, seen what, it. What, what, Remember, he was with him? his girlfriend yeah, four yeah, a.m. Yeah, and he got yeah, stabbed. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he, he was, was always about, like defunding the police and this and that. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he, the, the, the guy walked past him, and he looked, looked at him, said, "What the fuck walked, you looking at?" And he at? walked towards him. He walked fucking towards him, like, like, "Come on, bro!" Now listen, yeah, listen, idiot. listen. This is totally hypothetical. Yeah. Obviously, none of us know the outcome, but I guarantee that dude isn't just walking up and stabbing you in the neck without a fucking huge fucking fight, and you're probably gonna take the knife away from no, him. I'm not, I'm not even a there. fighter. And I guarantee that that dude I'm is not stabbing me in the mouth. No, I'm not getting neck. nowhere near that guy. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even let that happen. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm going to run away. Yeah, you know, I'm listen, not a fucking I'm a, No, 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 no. Because you're with your girl. Your girl ain't yeah. keep it. She's in a dress and heels. I'm going to throw her down she, and I'm going to take <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be fast in her. <laughs> She's not keeping up with you if you're yeah, sprinting. But, yeah, you know yeah, but I mean? you know what? There's a certain way you carry yourself. Like, mm-hmm. like I, I go to bad areas. Yeah. And they're like... They're automatically like, oh, I could tell you're a fighter. Uh, yeah. Why, my ears? No, no, I didn't even notice yours. Just the way you carry yourself, the way you walk. You, I, I never told understood you this that. the last time you were on. Yeah. You remember? You challenged me to a fight, you, and I was like, Dante, I know who the fuck you are. You <laughs> I were remember bounce, doing that. You were that. bouncing at... Uh, up on abyss, uh, abyss. abyss. You were bouncing at Abyss, and I was walking out with like three of my friends, and I'm a big dude. Back then, I wasn't that big, but I'm <laughs> tall. And I remember you saying, yeah, bro, what's, you want to you wanna go fucking mix it up in the back for 100 bucks?" And I was like, dude, I know who the fuck. I, mean, I was at, <laughs> at that point, I'd already gone to one of your fights in AC. So, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I might have yeah. been a dick back then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, a bit. You, were, you were like, it's all good. It's all good. I'll get the next guy. I was like, all right. <laughs> I, remember, I remember working over there and being suspended every fucking week. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Trying to make 100 bucks off of a fight. No, I was in there. They're like, well, what? No more fights in here. Clean it up. And then I would clean it up. And they're like, we got to suspend you for this week. I'm like, you fucking told me to clean it up. All right, come back. I would come back for two weeks. And I would get suspended again. Yeah. yeah. It's different, huh? As younger guys, those, those, obviously, the, the bouncers... you guys are the alphas of your age group, right? We were t- late 20s or mid 20s. Do you do you see your peers, people your age, as not being built like you you guys? I mean, do you see it as a weaker society, it's, basically? You know, it's weird. I think a lot more people now are willing to to talk shit mm. and get into situations. I think I was actually thinking about this on the way here. Like a lot of people will get into situations, and I guess have that fallback of like, uh, he's not going to do anything. It's mm. never going to get to a real level. So they just, I don't know, they think that like they could just say freely well, stuff. And it's not like we're going to swing on, like, no, I don't think anyone should be just swinging on people for anything. Right. I'm not that type of person. I like to de-escalate yeah. situations. Just speak for yourself. Yeah. I like to de-escalate myself. If you start like, with me, what, you start what, with what's me. That, what's that This is for everybody to listen. You start with me, you're going to get, I won't well, punch you, I mean, you, if, you're if it's like smack. straight disrespect, I'm going to put you in your place. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not going to. Not like, if you just, Cowboy Cowboy Cerrone said something about. There's consequences to talking yeah. shit or something like that. Yeah. What, what did Mike Tyson say? He said uh, everyone social media, uh, 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 like society, made made it uh, okay to talk shit. Okay yeah. to talk shit and not get punched. Not, not get punched in the face. Yeah. In the face. Yeah. yeah, that's you a real know? thing. I see some of these guys talk shit on social media. I, I can't believe the shit they say. No, yeah. but I got seen, into it with someone I, on social I'm, media. I'm, I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm looking at social media. I ain't gonna say no names. A gangster with like thir- like thirty eight confirmed murders, and they're like. You pussy. I'm like, I'm doing, you, you, are you guys like, in a, like, do you understand this guy can just snap one day yeah, yeah, and yeah. literally, if you wanted to, the, the guy no, he is. No, people this don't guy, understand This that. guy, who he is, I promise you, he can find your address right, right, right. and just fucking kill. Like, they well, don't, they, they, it's not real to them. Need to get, Frank, God, Frankie, you know, it's not real to them. It's fucking crazy. Frankie. If this guy really wanted to, he will find your motherfucking yeah. ass. I, he, listen, Eric had a bet with me God. one day. Oh, you can't get my social. What is it in front yeah. of the whole class? He was oh. like, he was like, I can get your social security number. Yeah, one phone and, call, and I get your social security. Uh, he says, Yeah, right, coach. I say, Yeah. He says, Yeah, I'll bet you money you can't. 
When the new office made a phone call, came, I started reading a lot. He's like, shut up to the whole class. Yeah, he's reading my social to the whole class. I was like, yo. But um, It's that easy. It's not hard to get shit. But yeah. you know what's weird? Being in these college classes with like actual real life experience, like through the Marines and stuff, and like hearing these professors and like these college kids speaking, I'm like, sometimes I want to jump out of my seat and be like, are you guys out of your mind? Like, look that's at what, what, That's what they're trying to push, you're saying. Mm. It's not even what they're trying to push. It's just like, what experience in life are you talking from? You're just talking from right. other other stories other and stuff. And then, like, you look at what's happening overseas right now. But if you think what academia is, though, these people they grow up, they come up in these academia stuff. They're listening to what their professors say. Usually they go, hippies. they go nowhere. They don't ever go to like overseas or here or there. They don't really live life. They end up back in academia and just regurgitate the shit they learned from their people that never went anywhere. Yeah, you know? no, a hundred percent. And like I've been to a shitty. Like I was in Djibouti, Africa. I don't know if you guys know where that is. Well, it's I don't. Djibouti, Africa. I've heard of it because it's kind of it, 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 it's yeah. it's not it's not nice and if like I told you I went to Djibouti you would think I was lying mm, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it's a real country but the country's called Djibouti I thought it was yeah a town. Oh, okay. it's a country in Africa I've heard of it's off it. I've like heard horn, of it. it's like right under or right above Somalia so okay. but it's like they're living in mud huts and shit and like the like. I've been to those places and these kids are talking about like world peace and all this mm -hmm. and that and like America shouldn't be in all this business. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, like, what are you guys, what are you guys talking about? Like you, yeah. you don't have any experience real life, out in the real, real life, world. Uh, like you've never been yeah, there. Did you and see seen the it. thing Harvard for Palestine or something like that? Now they're yeah. all backtracking because they all lost their well, jobs. Now, but now they're trying to like go after these kids. I mean, dude, some of these kids are stupid. Bro. They're just, they're yeah. stupid. You can go, you can be. You know, there's book smart and there's street smart. They're two totally different fucking things. Completely you know? but different. But that all comes back to being not afraid to say stuff on like social media or whatever and think there's repercussions. Well, yeah. Yeah, and back to back I, I to what I was saying about you. Frankie, he, he's mentored me in many ways. Um, just about working through shit. And he always says, Bro, just fucking post and ghost. Don't fucking worry about comments. And I'm I'm pretty good with it. You know, I went through a fucking hellfire a while ago where I was a pretty hated dude. But, you know, since we started this podcast, he's like, post and ghost, man. Just don't worry about what people say. But lately, you've been getting... No, you've been I'll mixing, go in sometimes. This guy's if, been if mixing it, it up If I'm, a like, fucking bit. bored with it, I'll fuck with it. Yeah. I, as long as I'm not personally attached to it. If I'm personally attached to it, it bothers me, then I definitely don't pay attention to it. Because yeah. then I get to let it consume I don't do it. But when, when, I, when I'm like, ah, fuck it, let's have some fun. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, go without it, I'll go about it a little bit. I, I can't. I get too angry, man. I'll fuck around and no, these people, I'll be in trouble. Dude, the dude, the I'll find dude. their house. I'll be in their fucking kitchen. What I don't understand about these guys that hate on us and our listen we admit like we come out the fucking right. gate saying we're a couple right. idiots in a basement and they these motherfuckers listen every week they comment and this, they fucking talk is, about this, how we're idiots don't listen you fucking moron all right uh, i'll tell you this is what kind of bothers me all right because like i don't inject my opinion on current events or, or social or, or you know like for political events on my social media i don't like go out and do it and my podcast i talk about you got to come and find me to fucking yeah. hear me say it mm. I'm not putting it out there So like how the fuck You mad That you came and found well, What the well, fuck I said well, Yeah I mean, A lot I, of it's because I, of our I, I was gonna our, say A lot of it is yeah. because of our Our teasers on Instagram Right, right, right. That yeah. you know And, and the, the guy that Cuts the clips Definitely right. picks some Controversial stuff Which is cool Because it definitely gets the Gets, the, gets views gets up the views. It's, you know it's the I mean? controversial yeah. moments Of our yeah. show obviously um, But if they ever stuck around And listened to the whole thing I'm pretty even keel. I always bring it back kind of a little bit and say, oh, well, the other side, I was, I, I, you know, that's that's the Libra in me. That's what I hear. Yeah. You know I, mean? I don't, I don't yeah, even let astrology. myself get involved. They got the people with astrology. I, I had some astrology. Did you talk to an astrology astrophysicist. guy? Yeah, astrophysicist. <laughs> Smarter than you did. That's the street smarts, man. That's what I, Look at everything I got. That's all street smarts. <laughs> I can't fucking. I think street smarts are fucking bare, head to hit on the I could barely do a crossword. I'm only kidding. I could do a crossword puzzle. What? I'm fucking smart. I can't do Dante, did you have. Jeopardy. Jeopardy, I'm the man. This guy's, what? And chess? This I'll, what? Guy's good. I'll whoop you in chess. And, and chess, I'll <laughs> give you that. You play. I, I don't play enough. But uh, in Jeopardy? I'm I will, pretty good at Jeopardy. I will go. I'll Ask will. how good am I in trivia? Yeah, be honest. He, he smokes us. He'll make us come over and play trivia games yeah. just so he could Bro, show us how stupid well, we Then we got to go. Then we got to go. I'm pretty well, good. I make all the fighters, we all hang out like a team. They come to the house. They have dinner. You know, you don't play like more games. Like, you know. I make them fucking come in. And I tell them it's mandatory. I won't get you a fight. That's it. We go. We all went to a water park together. We all go to a great event. We all do everything together. So you're going to be a team. Yeah, yeah. You're going to punch each you other in the like face. You don't make anybody put the sunscreen on you or anything. No, 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 no. It's always over for <laughs> no, we'll, do, we'll do some Jeopardy. 
I, I I'll listen, do some I'm, trivia. I'm pretty good. I probably got Everybody's been Jeopardy. telling me you're good at trivia, so I've been trying to I've been trying to challenge you. All right. so, don't don't play him in chess though. No, no chess. I, I don't play enough. Chess. I haven't honestly. I played like three games since college. Yeah, it's a game you need to play. Him yeah. and him and Todd Frazier will get into a, a Jeopardy, oh, a Jeopardy uh, tournament. Crush Todd Frazier in Jeopardy. <laughs> oh no, really? Yeah. Would you I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say Frazier's an idiot. He's pretty. No, he's pretty. I'm just that fucking you're good, just bro. You're that good, that good in Jeopardy. <laughs> I'm not that good, but I'm, I think I'm better than you. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I feel like Jeopardy, you got to know a lot of things, like a lot of little, little things about a little yeah, thing. Yeah, I, don't, I know a lot, a lot. I know, I know random I know facts, of, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah, I got to... It's you're, usually a music genre, a history genre. Listen, you want to get a good game to... Sk- I suck at Shakespeare. Yeah, like that's that. always on. I'm not really... No, you know no, Shakespeare? Yeah, I don't like Shakespeare. No, I don't know Shakespeare stuff. Uh, I don't know. Geography, I'm pretty good. Geography, I, I'm, good. I'm terrible. Yeah. History, I'm okay. History, I'm a little okay, too. Yeah. Like I used, I, I, used get to, by. I used to be on point with like pop media. Now I'm now I'm not no more. You know, I don't know. I just got to be random. There's there, there, there's a fucking game. I forgot. It's called Smartass. You'll like it. Yeah. Play that. They got a fucking. They give oh, you. What, a, what, where, where? You get a board game. You play, but they had a list of things to give you clues, and you got to guess the answer. It could be anything. One could be geography. One could be a person, and it'll be like, it was given to the U.S. and. 18 something it had to be like the statue like, give you a bunch of clues till you guess it you know what I mean you'll like yeah, that if you like Japanese not my type of game <laughs> that. what was the game Taboo was a good game yeah right? Taboo was a good I played game yeah. I, I've played it I forget how, how Taboo it's like works a, there's a word you have to make us say the word without saying these certain words yeah uh, they limit what you can yeah. say yeah Board games are fun. I'm still yeah, big on yeah, board games. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like, I feel like it was a, that was a here. it was a better time. My kids are like addicted to iPads now. I try to keep yeah. them. My rule is if it's nice out, we're out. Like we're yeah. always on the go. Frankie knows we're fucking not home. If it's nice out, but if it's a shitty day, rainy day, cold, whatever, I'll let them be on their iPads. But once in a while, I'll be like, guys, let's break out a board game. And usually my kids are in. The problem is they're super competitive. Grayson fucking hates losing, so he gets so pissed off. So I always have to say. Bro, if you're gonna get pissed off, just don't fucking play. He's like, all right, I won't play, but he still gets. Pissed well, that's off. to get a cornered, right? Yeah, he don't like. Oh, fucking, he's a little he monster. He don't like losing. Bro, he's loser. seven years old. Fucking, fucking kid, I showed him up. I said, come here, you don't want to buy the lucky. He goes, no. Yeah. I said, lucky and poopoo. He's just okay. He does it in a fucking tournament yeah. like that. Bro, like he wants to win in yeah. the worst way. He's got. Awesome. He's got the like the. He's so gonna he, be a big kid. That's yeah. He's got the will to win. I think that's good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think it's good when kids are don't not, like not losing. sore losers, but they yeah. they really and I will win never, yeah, you know? no, I, I, ever, listen, ever celebrate you, mediocrity it, it, and be like, "You fucking did amazing. You got hey, third. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, "You fucking hey. suck, bro." But you got to show me you're trying. You know, if you want dad yeah. to be proud of you, and he he, he you saw him. He, yeah, he was, of course. He went up against that kid that had like 25 fucking turns. Can't beat one of my kids. That was a fucking great, but he's a white boy. You know what I mean? You show me a good loser. And I'll show you a fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, I'm competitive. <laughs> Ask him. I'm competitive. But I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm competitive. This guy. Everything. This guy. No matter what we do, bro. We fucking this this velocity racing. They own a bunch of like high end cars, and they asked us to come out. And uh, you should have come to the track with me. You missed that I one, know, but I know. we did just a parking lot at Met MetLife Met Met Stadium. And this guy's like, I bet I beat you. And no matter what this guy does, it's I did. I was right on his ass. No, right on his ass the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. My bro, I had to slow down because you were fucking going so slow. He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, where the fuck were we? Where the fuck were we that we're up the escalators? Like, come on, I reach. I meet you, beat you guys up there. It was like eighty flights, flights of stairs. And you start. I was like, I'm not fucking racing you up those yeah. stairs. I have a stroke. I won. I won. You did tell me something years ago. I was on an escalator. I'm sure you won. I didn't go. I remember where the fuck was that. You told me something years ago, and I do it now. What? If there's an elevator or stairs, I always take the yeah. stairs. Uh, not elevator, but escalator. No elevator. Elevator, but I'm not going 23 fucking flights. Yeah. I'll yeah. go. I'll go four flights. How took, often are you in? He took it very I'll go literally. Four flights. I go for escalators. I always take escalators. I always. I, mean, I, I, mean, I always take walk, stairs yeah. instead of escalators. I'm not going up okay. any stairs. That's, That's my at thing. The mall. Yeah. At the mall, yeah. at the airport. Oh, at the mall. You go to Vegas that, airport. There's a fucking long. Stairwell. I'll go, I'll go on them, but half the time I'm thinking I'm. I don't know why I always think that it's a break and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I won't do that. And, and honestly, I, I will elevator if it's like first floor, second floor, like a small hotel. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm taking. You ever seen that movie I'm Devil? The door locked in the yeah, elevator with the old lady. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's that was good. a scary scene. Yeah. I think he's talking about an escalator though. There's, you know, they're two different things. See an elevator and oh, escalator. Yeah. Double. Yeah. You fucking take the earphones off, you fucking <laughs> moron. <laughs> <laughs> it's an esca- escalator and el- elevator. He said two of them. He did. 
Yeah, but if it's like 20 floors up, I'm not taking this. There's, there's, there's a reason we don't let him talk much, we, you see? We do That's why he's in a fucking a broken, a broken escalator just becomes a flight of stairs. It, it yeah. does. Yeah. You know what's fucked up when they have the, bro- the broken escalators in the mall, yeah. and you step on it, and you feel like it's still moving, it's Dude, in your fucking people, brain? people get fucked yeah. up from that. You ever well, seen they, injuries? Sharp. It's always they're sharp. You ever see somebody get trapped in an old shit? lady that gets oh, like a sleeve dumb. sucked down in and ripped fucking half her Look, fingers off? Can I tell you something crazy? It's a fear. That's fear. For some reason, old people always fall in front of me. Yeah. In the past month, like four old people, I feel like a superhero. Really? I'm a star word. Yeah. 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 I pick them up. I help oh, so them. They, they the always ground. fall in front of me. I don't know why. It's like four people in a past. Superman two. don't let them hit the ground. Yeah. You know? <laughs> one guy. One day, this old lady fucking fell. I helped her up. Then I go in the bathroom in Cheesecake Factory, and this fucking guy stepped in the bathroom, did a full, he did a full split, and his fucking. I swear he, he tore his ACL meniscus. Oh. I tried to play. I helped him up. Try to play it off. Limped out the bathroom. I said his meniscus it's is gone. Shot. For sure. His like, you got X-ray vision. You got <laughs> MRI vision. <laughs> he got MRI vision. <laughs> he was, oh shit! He got his MRI. His <laughs> fucking <laughs> meniscus. He, he, whatever it was, he, it was he became wild, an orthopedic bro. real quick. Superman. Let's talk about that for a second. You brought it up. Yeah. He had the ability to fly so fast he could change the rotation of the Earth. Right. Yeah. And was, turn back time. So nothing bad would ever happen, right? Because you could well, always go I back mean, and do that in one movie. Well, can he do it all the time? What he fucking only I mean, came it, 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 that seemed pretty hard for him doing that movie. <laughs> Took a lot <laughs> of energy. It did seem hard, right? Flash, he had to save a lot Flash of energy. Flash did it more. The Flash. He, he, yeah, you yeah, saying yeah. he was go the time he was winded after he did it? Is what you're saying? He was winded. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely a little tired. I'd take a break. As <laughs> you going back, I would definitely go back in a time. I would, Yo, let's what would talk you about, Let's talk, talk about say, what Mark you talked about. I wouldn't change shit. I would just get all the winning horses. Yeah. Well, you yeah. Yeah. Like you uh, Back rich. to the Future. Yeah. Right? Yep. You would end up changing. You want to talk about the status yeah, of... You guys are young. I don't. Are you guys single? You guys, yeah. Life? You're single. That's hell. All right. That's so hell. let's talk about this. Obviously, you guys have... So, I know you do. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i follow you after this, but I follow you on social media. What is, from a, from a much younger perspective than me, what is you guys take on girls... Today they have all these challenges. Now they have something called the uh, the um, meat curtain challenge. No, it's not the meat curtain challenge. It's the <laughs> silhouette challenge. Oh, I think silhouette challenge where girls stand in front of a like ring those light, lights, like those, those lights, those lights. Yeah. and and they wear like a, a sundress, sundress, and you yeah. literally see their fucking lips hanging. What uh, you, you, if you guys are out there in the dating world? What do you think of these girls today that try so hard? To be on social media and really become famous by selling sexuality, like is so, that attractive to you? Not at all. No. Not no, at all. No. I'm not that. You're I'm not. not th- I'm not into that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's if it's that part where you're you're doing a little too much, yeah, I, I can't be. Now, it's now, there's, there's, yeah. we're, 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 we're men, the right? Silhouette? We're men, so what, there's levels, right? The now, off, like, like, would you hook up? Where's what channel is this? <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. I would, TikTok. I would see it. I'll show yeah, you. Sure. Look at it. I'm not gonna bring home to meet my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're men, right? So we can be shallow, right? We can just be a. Would you would you just hook up with these girls or would you date these girls? Yeah, dating's a definitely a no. A, a, a no for that. Yeah, it's tough to I feel like break that dating threshold. Yeah, date her for the night. I feel like you can never yeah, trust I'll love, that girl. I'll love right? her for the rest of my life tonight. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what's crazy? Yeah. I always tell myself. It says if I was ever single, again, I, I I just don't have the capacity to have a conversation. And like ten minutes in, I'm just like, man, shut the fuck up. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of. What are you talking? That's a lot of. What the fuck are you talking about right this, now? This age, oh, that, 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 so. And you talk to people, and every time you talk to them, their heads, their faces buried in the fucking mm. phone. And I hate mm. that shit. I'm like, put your fucking phone away. Be a human being and talk. I'm right. ordering fucking food at Lavolti's one day. And the three guys, I, I literally was fuck with them. They, they, they don't know us. I was like, oh, I said, how long you? The guys, I'm asking him. He's like, I was, at one point, I'm like, how long you been dead? You've been dead for like years now, right? It's like uh, they, they have no social skills. Right, right, right. They're not even looking up you. They have that's no not typically icon. people I, I, our age. That's typically uh, younger people. No, people are attracted talk, to listen, younger I talk, girls. I, but. I talk to everybody. I talk to people, and they, I talk for hours. If you talk, I'll talk for hours. I got Same. a big fucking mouth, Same. you know. Yeah. But when you talk to people, and they don't even give you a fucking response because you're too busy in the phone. They can kill mm-hmm. us. Well, I tell my up. kids all the time, like, oh, it's eat, like this new generation. I, I went to the, the grocery store. And like you go up to the cash register, there's a young kid at the cash register, like oh, barely acknowledged me, yeah. barely like, didn't say anything to me. And I'm like, yo, see you later, buddy. Like nothing. I'm like, bro, it's so easy for you to fucking beat these kids. Just be a nice person, yeah. look people in the fucking eye, yeah. say hello, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. That's now like a trait where people are like, wow, 
Yeah, yeah. They think, oh wow, look just at this guy. Normal. Be, be normal. Be a, a yeah. little outgoing. You want to you, you want to be successful yeah. now? Be a fucking animal. That's what Dana man. White said. Dana be White's fucking, got that quote, and I I almost posted it. Animal, I almost posted it the animal. other day. He says, I tell my kids all the time, if you even have a little bit of fucking savagery, yeah. just a little bit, you're a little bit of a savage. You're destined yeah, for success because this world is full of fucking yeah. pussies. Yeah, like the world is full of pussies today. It is. I think a lot of it too is like. You know, these people have personalities on social media, and then you meet them in person, and right. it's like talking to a wall. 100%. Oh, like, Dude, I, I, 100%. I, I, quite a few people I've come across as of lately were like, on social media, they are this big presence, yep. but then in person, I was like, correct. who the fuck is this guy? Yep. Like, yeah. they, 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 they don't say nothing. It's like, you're not real. Twi- Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever the fuck, that ain't real life. They're this comfortable, is real life. They're comfortable at home. In front of that camera by themselves with this totally outgoing, flamboyant personality. But once they get around people, they're socially awkward. That's like yeah. with the, yeah. that's that goes back to the whole girl thing. Like, right. You, you, right. a lot of times you meet girls from yep. Instagram or yep. whatever, and then you talk, you meet them in person for the yep. first time, and you're like, holy shit, this yep. person sucks. Well, they can tell you yeah. a whole, they can talk, tell you a novel and text message. Yep. You pick up the phone and call, and they have nothing to say on the phone. Yep. Pick you know, up, you know, you know what would like, be crazy? They send me 40 text messages, I call, I'll be like, it took you 30 minutes to text me this. You could have told me this in 15 seconds. Yeah. You could yeah, just say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to look at the fucking know, phone for 30 I minutes. You can't read crazy. very well either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, OnlyFans <laughs> girls, in my experience, some of them could be like that too. They sell so sexuality so well. They seem so confident. This just happened in Lake George. There was this girl up there. A couple of the younger guys were talking to her and stuff. And I said, I bet she's got an OnlyFans. And I, I just fucking asked her. I was like, you got an OnlyFans? And she's like, how'd you know? I was like, I was just a lucky guess. Should have been because you're a moron. Totally awkward in person. Like, on 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 her OnlyFans, she looks like she's the most outgoing fucking human you'll ever meet there's in your life. A, there's you know? some girls that got OnlyFans that are fucking geniuses. These girls, there's some smart girls in there that... That they know what the fuck they're doing. They're driving name around one. a fucking ah, Ferrari. Name, but name still, one. they're going to be... They're gonna, name listen, one. There's yeah, got to be... They there's something they got some money. They might make millions, right? They yeah. do. But one day, their kid might come home from school and be like, damn, ma, holy fuck, this is yeah. your OnlyFans? Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy well, shit, Can you ma. imagine that? Yeah. You know? No, that... So, I, again, like, come I, doesn't, it doesn't it, come it, down... It, it, if, everything comes with some repercussion, right? We're talking... To, we've got a bunch of guys in this room, so we're just talking personal opinions. But for me... You know, I, I don't. I, I I believe in capitalism, right? So what they're doing is legal. They have, you know, I'm not hating on them. I don't think they're, you know, I'm not judging them in any certain way because it's 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 a way to make money, and they're using their sexuality to make money. But on a personal level, I don't think I could like actually like date that girl. You know what I mean? Like I I don't think I could. She so don't want to date some, you some, anyway. Some guys, right? some guys <laughs> date porn stars. Yeah. yeah some you know. guys date porn stars. Yeah. Yeah. I would have. I would Look have. Tito, Tito dated Jenna Jameson. Yeah, yeah, I think she retired, but yeah. yeah. You can find and if you ever have a conversation with her, I spoke to her one time, a long time. Ago. She's a she's a smart fucking girl. Yeah, she is. She she's is. a yeah, fucking. Yeah, she's yeah. a smart girl. Yeah. Like she's well spoken. Like she's not a fucking. And she took her money. She made millions, and yeah. she fucking retired. So she right. did. I mean, she used her sexuality, but at least she got she got out. And she did something yeah. with it, you know. And it's these girls that they. Do I don't think it's that, one size fits all. I'm nah, sure I'm there listening, are. Yeah. Everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's story, right? Mm-hmm. Why people do certain things, for what reason? Are you guys attracted know. to? We'll talk about someone totally different that doesn't sell sexuality per se, but they still kind of do in a way because, you know, they're they're always scantily clad, but are CrossFit girls or muscle bound chicks like like, uh, what's her name, Brooke Entz, Brooke Entz, or you know Sarah, what, you know what, you know what, CrossFit daughter. girls are attractive to me because to be in that kind of shape, you gotta have discipline. Yeah, you gotta be. And a you gotta have drive. Savage. You gotta be an animal. I you think those girls that's are attract- after yeah. that hard that quality is right. attractive. Correct. You know what I mean? Because you know how they live their life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I said, just imagine what it smells like after a hard workout. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Some of them might smell good. People yeah. buy that. What What's this guy's name? I forgot this fucking guy named the speaker. Fuck man, he's always man. It's gonna drive me fucking nuts. What kind of speaker? Like a, like a motivational speaker? Yeah, and he's always talking about be a fucking savage. Don't be fucking weak. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, that's yeah. him. Jordan well, Peterson. We, we, I love we, him. Bro. We've talked about Jordan a number of times. Who I love because yeah. I think our side of the aisle yeah. needs well-spoken, yeah. poised men. Right? We need we need guys that can can. I like Jordan Peterson. Can bro. can uh, mm. articulate. I like him. I like, him. I like, I do I like too, the but stuff does he, he said, live? Dude. Does he he's walk the walk? He's fucking Canadian. No, he's it's Canadian not that. Too. <laughs> right? Now he talks yeah. about. He talks about. What's wrong with Canadians? I'm just saying, not American, bro. They're talking about American shit. You're from fucking Canada, bro. 
No, you it's not. Even, it's not even that. I, I'm not on board with that. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's that he yeah. he says be a savage. But how much of a savage has Jordan Peterson ever been? You know what I mean? Yeah. Has he how ever been know? a savage? He's how like, do we know? You don't know. He got the vaccine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. A, you know, I didn't. I I knew Frankie listen, would say it eventually. Let me tell, let me tell you something. Eventually. I can introduce you to some very unassuming men that. I I would uh, that I would not fuck with, and you would physically. Sorry. Wait, what? I could show you some unassuming men that you might think is this. Who the fuck is this guy bothering? No, that I wouldn't no, even raise, that, that I wouldn't that. even fucking blink at, bro. What? Why? Because they wait, shoot you? Yeah, yeah. Cause I, they'll fucking yeah. kill you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, we're yeah. talking about too. Yeah. That, yeah. They're not. Those, you, wait, yeah, that yeah, makes them the guns. Let's see what happens. That, that makes them ah, like, a little psycho. bit. That makes you savage, man. Means a little unhinged. You could take if you could if you could if you at the drop of a dime shoot you in the face. You're a savage. I agree. That you're 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 a different kind of man. You're definitely a different kind of person. You're a different kind of person. That's called a criminal. I'm a tough. I'm a tough guy. I don't know if I'm capable of fucking beating somebody to death with a fucking stick. Mm. Or uh, no, 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 no. Depending on the situation. Exactly. Mm. Depending on why I'm beating that motherfucker with a stick. For a minute reason. If that dude came For at my mom. For a minute reason, no. I probably if you, wouldn't if, do that. If you kill my family, if you kill my yeah, kids, yeah, yeah. if you yeah. kill my yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Every but, man, yeah, yeah. not every man, but the majority of us, especially the circle yeah. we travel, we all, all of us, I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah. We're all capable of killing somebody, all of us, but, but it depends on the circumstances. But capable yeah, and like sure. beat like for like at the drop of a dime to beat somebody. Yeah, not not, not, not over yeah, twenty five hundred dollars debt. Yeah. No, some no. guys that are more inclined to do it and yeah. more quick yeah. will quickly jump yeah. to it. Absolutely. And even if I'm you had to guy. do it, even if you had to do it, I promise you, you would still think twice about it no matter how angry yeah. you were. Uh, right. Of course. There's guys that don't. They just what? what you're dead. That's I don't it. know. There's certain situations. I know. Frank, I mean, you could do it. You have certain... no empathy at all. You could do it. Probably you to you. You have zero. Listen, this guy has zero empathy. Here, let me, let, let, here, let, me, let me give, it, let me give you an example. You want to hear a story? Yeah, um, yeah I want to hear some. I don't He just, he, yeah, uh, oh, I'll give you a good story. I'll give you a good story. I'll give you a good story. He's probably going to hate this story, but it's true. It's fucking true. Chris Ligori had a dog, and the dog <laughs> fell in the pool and died, and his whole family, his kids are crying, hysterical. Calls up Frankie. Frankie's like his first phone call. Bro, my fucking dog. Just drown in the pool. My kids are fucking hysterically crying. Frank goes, Nah, you didn't really like the fucking dog anyway. I'm like, Yo, you want to get rid of it? I thought you want to get rid of it. There it is. <laughs> Not, I hope your kids are all right. Is that, right? that him looking on the bright side? I'm saying, Oh, God, my dude. I'm trying to it, it, the fuck make God, light. It, it, God answered his prayers. <laughs> make light of a bad That's situation. That's exactly <laughs> what I mean right there. Yeah. No empathy. But, but the example is like, in a life death, life or death situation, a guy, he's with, the, God forbid, he's with his kids and his wife, and somebody attacks him. At that moment, he's beating him to death. But, God forbid, his wife comes over and said, this guy attacked me, and he has to go find them. Right. And when you have time to think about sure. it, yeah, you're going to fuck yeah. him up. Yeah. You're going to do some shit to him, but right. do you beat him to death at the same way you would in that moment? Or, or or you have more time to think about it and fucking let it Talk fester. Yourself yeah, out of it. It. No, no, let it fester. And you, want yeah. it, you know what I mean? You don't know. Yeah, it could work both ways, but, but the beats like, there's guys yeah. who are like, there's guys who are fucking the handcuff your light you on for like, no, I think, look at these guys no, overseas. No, yeah, listen, that, there are people that are that are, they're not, they're not, uh, I guess they're like you said. I have no empathy. They have no empathy, but they're almost psychopaths. Yeah, yeah or sociopaths. Yeah. You're, you're talking Sociopath. about psychopaths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Or sociopaths. Not really. I know some crazy guys. Yeah, they're that fucking are nice psychopaths. Mm. They're, they're, they're some of the nicest guys bro, ever met. No they're fucking bullshit. They're, There's no bullshit. We've all met in our lives psychopaths and sociopaths that walk among normal people. Yeah, they they normal. live normal lives. Yeah. A lot of people are. Yeah, yeah you're right. Sure. A lot of Marines are like that. Like, have to be. Yeah. Well, a good example of that would be, this is the best, because I, I, I think like this, like, I know some pretty bad motherfuckers, but they have a tight, they might have a very small circle, it might be their wife, it might just be their kid. There's at least a person or two in their life that they would protect no matter what, that they hold sacred, that are, that, 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 that is their that is their everything, right? So I don't consider them psychopaths, because they hold something sacred. Somebody's life is more important than theirs. There are guys like Chris Watt, Chris Watt, Chris Watts, I think? That murdered his whole fucking family. Lived a normal life. Oh, with the had two no daughters right had next to yeah, yeah. Put him. That's a psychopath. Bro, is he Canadian too. That dude. Canadian no, too no, right he now. was out in the west. Out west. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that dude is the epitome of a sociopath. Yeah. Like the epitome. Yeah. And you see the police. That's are, where they went. The and police. Talked to him that next they're day. literally and his neighbors there. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're literally the police are at his house the next day questioning him, and he is cool as a cucumber. Cool oh yeah, now I know what you're talking as about. as a yeah. cucumber. Like I've never seen anything like it. 
He's putting on this whole mm-hmm. facade. Right. And, and I remember the, the, that first like day, that. the first day, they asked the neighbor, and he was like, oh, I think he did it. Yeah, the neighbor. He did it. As soon as he's he walks outside, funny. Like, oh, he never like, acts this way. Yeah, he's yeah. acting funny. Yeah. Day one. Day one. You know, and then, listen, uh, you're, you're a psychopath if you kill your wife, right? Especially she didn't do it. Well, he was cheating well, on her. He was cheating on her, right? Cheating on her. She wasn't cheating on yeah, him. He had another life. Yeah, well, had it, right, exactly. But to kill your two yeah, little I babies? Know. Like, no, bro. I, I mean, can the wife, I the lowest of love. Listen, one He's thing for me, I, I could barely, I got 80 kids, and I could barely yell at the kids. Mm. I like love kids so much. Who would have guessed that Dante Rivera would be so good with kids, kids, man? Who would have guessed? Yeah, it's funny, man. You're like a killer, though. Mal, I've known you 20 years. You've always I'm been a man with a stone like 40, cold they, they killer. Even, they don't even take me seriously. I was like, I'll poke your eyes out. They laugh at me. <laughs> I yell at them. They laugh at me. They don't, they're so friendly with me. Like, I'm always playing with all of them. That I just. I just want them to. I just love them, bro. That's awesome. Fucking That's kids. awesome, man. I hate Found adults. <laughs> give give this guy some advice over here. He's a little nervous, right? He's opening his own school. At one point, you opened a school, yeah, and you had to be a little nervous. You're like, shit. I don't know. If My this advice to him, I tell him all the time, is don't be nervous. Yeah. Not. It may sound a stupid thing. I'm saying, you're fucking Frankie Edgar. Exactly what I, I said. Hate, I hate hearing that. It's exactly <laughs> what I said. You're Frankie Edgar, bro. You know what they Build told it. me? You know what it's they like told field me? Field of dreams. You know what they Build told me? Build it and they will come. When yeah, I open my I school, so you know too. what they said to me? Yeah. You're fucking Dante. Right. Everybody knows you. Don't exactly. worry about it. And that's what happened. So if that works for me, right. it's going to triple work for I fucking him. say the same thing. You understand? Thing. If that thing. If that saying worked for me, they're going to triple work for him. And he knows how to He knows how to coach. He's fucking... Four, was, He's a Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. was one of the best guys in the world. He's going to go down in history. He was the world champion. He knows how to coach. He knows how to teach. He knows how to talk to people. That's it. That's all you need. Mm-hmm. Listen. So I people, talk to Roger all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be successful. All right, since we're on the subject, you, let, you know what let, is? Let's, let's he talk cares. about this. My, I have a lot of students because people know I care. Right. I'm not. They, you know I'm not in there for money. I lose money with these fucking guys. <laughs> they, I, I'm not in You could tell I'm not in for money. Well, we got I'm, a little inside scoop on that. Apparently, when you go to the fights down in AC, you... You rent the penthouse suite for like four days and throw parties, and maybe you don't have to do money, that. Yeah. Maybe you don't have to do that. You know. Listen, I gotta live my life. <laughs> I got punched in the head for a long time, bro. So, but if you sh- if they see that you care, especially the parents, they know you care about their yep. kids. There's not a parent in my school who will say, "I know he don't care." I know every parents. I know all the kids. I know them all. Yep. I talk to all of them. I hang out with, like that's it. They know I care. They know I generally want to see them, and I put them to compete. And when they're on the mat, I'm screaming like, you would think I'm competing. You would think it's my kids. I, Listen, I want them all to do well. I'm obviously a little biased because I've known you for a lot of years. <laughs> but Jenny, you know, my, my, my ex put Grace and my son yeah. in a school, different school. Yeah. BJJ school, and I entered him in his first Naga tournament maybe last, I don't know, was it last fall, last summer or something? Yeah. His coach didn't even show up. You were there. You coached my son. You didn't have to do that. Yeah. Fucking, you were, you, were, you were warming him up. Yeah. You were telling him what to do and shit. So... I can say from first hand experience, the kid didn't even go to your school when you yeah. took him under your wing and helped him. You know, so. Dante's the man. Dante, yep. uh, the reason why I went to Ricardo's. Yep. You know, I talked to him and yeah. I talked to Ricardo. I talked to him. I said, "You and Chris, you guys got to come in." And I talked to Ricardo. And I remember, and I only said this. Though, uh, to be honest, the only uh, I, I I only said about one other person that I said I knew for a fact when I first saw them, like. I said, this guy's going to be a fucking... I said, Ricardo, this guy's going to be in the UFC. He's going to be a champion. you got to got to take this fucking guy. And Ricardo's like, yeah, I don't like you. Know, those fucking... You know, Ricardo don't like... Those fucking rhino guys. I said, talk to him one time. And Ricardo's like, I like him. And he talked to him and brought him in, you know? And there's only one other person, like, from the glance that I've ever said that about. You know what I mean? So, it's... It turned out right. You mm. know what I mean? And he came mm. and it's fucking... That's it. That's what he needed, you know? History, yeah. You know, he outgrew... You know, no offense to nobody over a rhino, sure, them, but yeah, yeah, he yeah. just outgrew over there. You know, yeah. it's, you can't, how can I say it? You can't outgrow the guys that are teaching you. You know, like, mm. these guys are tough, and Big I'm pretty fish, sure. Small pond. I'm pretty like, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that these guys hit me hard enough, they would hurt me, but the main, they don't know more than me. Right. They don't know more. They don't know in any aspect of, of combat, of combat fighting. They just, they know they don't know more than me. I can always show them and teach them this and, and they look to me for that. When you start knowing more than the people that are trying to get you to where you're going, right. then it's time for you to expand and go. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. sure. All right, conversation, changing gears a little bit, switching gears. Conversation you guys weren't part of. Renee and I, and I think Andrew showed up on the tail end of it. Uh, we're sitting upstairs. 
And I, I learned a little bit about Mr. Edgar over here. Maybe you guys don't know. Apparently this guy, Renee, has been videotaping him at night while he sleeps because he's a fucking absolute animal. He screams shit in the middle of the night, like verbalizes, actually so you can understand well, him. We knew he had Tourette's for a long time. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and violently throws himself around to the point where she took me in the bedroom. She was like, you got to come in here and see this. She's got a cot next to their bed that she sleeps in with a fan and earplugs to drown out the noises this guy makes in the middle of the night. What's going on with you, buddy? You got uh, there's anything to do with CTE here? Or I'm a little nervous. Mm-hmm. You don't know? Nah, I was always a shaker and a mover. Yeah, well, you don't, you haven't screamed shit out. I guess she don't know. She she's a, she used to be a heavy sleeper. Now she's a light sleeper. Oh, that's and what it is. And my daughter is our, in our bed with us too. My mm-hmm. nine year old daughter is in our bed with us. She said he woke so, up the other night and yeah. said, "Everybody go to bed." And it was like two in the morning. Everybody, <laughs> everybody was already asleep. Yeah, I, I, I've I've done stuff like that before. I yeah. didn't know that. If you, you never know because you're yeah. asleep. Yeah. But when I was in college, my my roommate said there was like two nights back to back. He was like, "Yo." Drinking nights? No. I feel like we all act like, a little you, different. He's drinking. like, bro, I'm about to I'm about to figure out a new living situation. You're freaking me out. He said the one night I got up and I stood in front of my closet, like three inches from it, for twenty minutes. <laughs> and I went back to bed. <laughs> you know what's crazy? He said, Bro, I was so scared you were possessed. Wow. And I was yeah, like, I don't said that about him. He kept he like sleepwalks Eric and wakes up with like a cucumber or banana in his mouth. <laughs> it's full of shit. And we don't know why he does that. <laughs> <laughs> Wakes up at uh, Paradise, the club, or whatever that is. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit. I always moved. I moved. I always moved a lot. Um, but yeah, I've been talking a lot. Tino, my son, he, my, he's, you know, 13. He fucking gets up and he'll get up, talk, walk up and sit in the room. So he sleepwalks mm-hmm. and he talks. It's pretty normal. Night. I'll tell you what yeah. I miss about youth a little bit that probably happened to me after 40. I could easily sleep through the whole night, no problem, without getting up to pee. I can't fucking. Oh, I can't through. do that. I, I can't. I never could. I pee I once. So, I drink too much. Well, I get so fucking angry, and I wake up in the middle of the night, and I gotta pee so bad. I was like, I don't want to get up, and I'm like, my motherfucking prostate, and I just, I, <laughs> yeah. it sucks. Yeah. I pee. Th- I drink so much water in it, but I pee at least four times a night. Do you? I, I'm me. usually once a night. Well, it pisses me off, bro. I'm like yeah. twice. Yeah. No, I, just, I wake up in the morning. And that's when I gotta go. Real yeah, bad. you fucking young fuck. Real yeah. bad. Fuck yeah. your young nah, prostate. I was always that way. I'm a light sleeper. Yeah, no. I never. No, I'm always never. a light sleeper. Never. Yeah, and I, I, and he, I, said even he said too. He said too. A night of drinking when I was younger, even after a night of drinking, I'd go through the whole night, wake up and piss nah, for 20 nah, minutes when said, I woke yeah. up. But if you wake up in the middle of the night, what do you do? Like if you wake up, like you piss, you go back to bed. Yeah. Can you fall back asleep? Yeah. Yeah. Can Not all the time. Not all the time. We were talking about this earlier, but sometimes I get up to piss. And sometimes sometimes I barely open my eyes. Because if I open my eyes fully and I start looking out the window, then I'm awake. I barely I just open my eyes enough, I'll piss. I'll go right back. But if I'm awake enough and I pick this fucking thing up, I'm up for hours. So well, I'll, fuck, I'll go back. Looking after, at the silhouette after, challenge. After a certain hour, my phone <laughs> goes down and bed. never pick it. <laughs> I have to start and I put my phone down and I never pick it up. That's yeah, good. If, That's if, what I hear, if I hear a pin drop, I'll, I'll wake up. Oh, really? I don't know I what it is. I got a fan in my room, though. You got to put a sleep. fan in your room. Yeah. A fan that... I have that a sound, sound the White noise yeah. or brown noise. Brown noise. Yeah, you like brown noise. Yeah, you like that brown noise. It's called brown noise. The air condition's on for me. If the air condition's on, it's too quiet, I can't sleep. Yeah. And that... But my wife sleeps with the air... That and earplugs. Girls are blessed, man. See, I feel like even with the air conditioner, like if I hear something out of the ordinary, I'm up. I'm, I'm the opposite. Like, we'll test that that you but, but I'll do if I get up, I sleep. can't sleep. I, I, I sit in my bed with my um, with my eyes closed. I'm like, I ain't fucking moving until my alarm goes off. I mean, unless I got to piss and stuff, but yeah. I, I, I tough it out. I'm like, you ain't going to win. I'm going to win. I'm, I'm going to act like I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> It's, that's just being fucking regimented yeah. and, and being yeah. disciplined. That's what that you're just fighting sleep. You fight everything, Frankie, yes. including sleep. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I can fall asleep. We're gonna have to. We're, we're gonna do on the podcast one day. We're gonna do a. Tri- we're gonna do a trivia challenge. He's still well, on let's this. Let's do it. Let's He's do been thinking about this challenge. since he yeah. said. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna have win. somebody come. They gotta Google. No, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking game the system. You're gonna have to get, give them pre. Yeah, we gotta pre, have uh, an, We gotta have Andrew. No, you'll have him yeah, come yeah. and Google 100 trivia questions, random questions to ask him. And whoever gets the most of it is the win on the podcast, all right? Okay. That's how we're going to win a podcast challenge. Trivia question. I'm saying Jeopardy, but I'm, I, got, I got probably episode ready to go Tri- upstairs. Trivia, trivia. It's the same shit. It's the same shit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not winning trivia. I'll watch. We know. I'll listen to I've it. played with you before. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not, not quick off random stuff with that. So what's the date of your guys' fight? You said December 16th? Same card. That's yeah, fucking December badass. 15th. 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 
Yeah. Now, does it tip? How, does it does it depend on what the fight card is, or does it normally start out with the with the lower weight classes and, and low? I got four guys on the card. I'm gonna. No, have it's all about lower weight classes. No, it's all about. It, he's probably the, they're probably the main event. Bigger fights. Event. If you're going for a title, right, you're usually right, at the end. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. I think Luke will probably end up being the main event. Yep. So it'll be Luke. I have Eric on there. I have Jerry Leshy and Nick Galante with four guys on the card. So, it's our. It's a good oh. group of dudes. It's yeah. going to be a fun night for we, sure. My, my four monsters, so. Murderers are. <clears throat> yeah. That's what we call it. Yeah, murderers are what they call it. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and that's when? That's when? We got 15, we got, we got our 125 pounder Jerry. They call him the menace. He literally call, I coined call, that name. Don't let him tell you he did. He <laughs> calls. <laughs> crazy. The, the guy calls us a riot every show. No Everywhere. He's fighting or not. It's always a I, fucking riot. We were watching every show, no matter what. He's fucking fighting fifty Russians. He's in a park it's yeah, it always turns out to be Russians. Really? I don't know why the he one that we're in the, no, he's we're in the Tropicana? No he starts with everybody. He Jerry don't, does. He don't yeah, give a fuck, he's bro. cornering one he's of our mean, fight, one of our buddies, Efren. He's cornering, and uh, I mean, like it, we were on like not fighting anytime soon, so we were drinking and stuff. But the the kid he was fighting is Russian, and usually when Russians fight, there's a huge, huge uh, Russian yeah. presence. And He's making s- signals to me while I'm cornering. I'm looking. Jerry's in the middle it of did. like 50 Russians. Yeah. Like, Yo, I would like well, at first we, the fight started and Jerry was next to me. And then five seconds later, I look and Jerry's not with me anymore. Jerry's in the middle of the three biggest Russian dudes cheering like against them, but next to them and smiling and laughing yeah, and like, egging yeah, them on. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. this is not good. <laughs> yeah. And then, so I'm like, all right, there's three or four of them. And so I went over there and I was like doing the same thing, trying to make light of it, but keep it, whatever. And then it got to the point now Jerry's yelling yep. some crazy stuff. They're yelling some crazy stuff. Everyone's making eyes. They could tell everyone's sizing each other up. Yep. Like this kid's like, I'm going to have to take this guy out and I'm going to hit him. I could tell it's getting real bad. I'm like, all right, Jerry, we got to make a decision here. We're going to stay here and do this or whatever. Yep. And then I guess they signaled up. We didn't even know the whole fucking Russian army was behind <laughs> us because like 30 of them came down. And now it's the point where I'm like, all right, Jerry, we got we to gotta yeah, move. We'll get He's still out. in the zone of like, he don't I'll care. fight everyone. Tunnel I'll fight vision. everyone. And then I could tell. Mr. Perez, uh, the the owner of Dead Series, looks over at us and he's like, "I'll shut this fight down right now if you guys do anything stupid." And I'm like, "I'm not trying to do nothing stupid. I, I'm not an idiot. Jerry, I know, know that not. there's, I they, can't yeah, beat up 30 wrong. guys. Even yeah. when he's sparring, Jerry he starts, Jerry's he starts a full blown fist fight. And for people we spar, fuck you. Uh, he'll do eight rounds. He, listen, eight rounds are own. built different. Too. Listen, he's a real good dude and he means well and yeah. stuff. He's just one of those he's, guys. He's, that he's like, I'm, I'm game. I'm game yeah, for anything." Stuff. Guy, you want on your side? Right? For we sure. Ju- we just coined his nickname. If you stop, want, don't do this. Don't do this. Spooky Luke. Don't do this, bro. Spooky you don't like it. Spooky don't Luke. Do this. Right in time for Halloween. Right in time for Halloween. Did you ever see? You ever see? You ever see his Michael up. Myers thing? <laughs> I did. I saw you it on saw Instagram. Michael. Yes, it they got like yeah, two million yeah, views yeah. on that shit. Did so, you really? Damn, bro. Yeah, that's blew a up a while views. back. But so I call him Spooky Luke. That's guys. good. That's good. I I'll come up with a better one, bro. I'm no, good. Spooky. I'm good. yeah, please I'm do. Good. Frankie, I'm Spooky Lukey. Spooky, spooky Lukey. Can't be Lukey. It's it's funny. <laughs> Girls <laughs> and my mom call me that. Spooky Lukey. <laughs> that's it. It's so catchy, Spooky Lukey. It's not. It'll catch. Trust me. It'll catch. If anybody hears this, Spooky Lukey. Don't repeat that, please. Don't let him do that. That's gonna end up being the fucking thing. A little clip. Um, Frankie's got obviously diehard fans here in Jersey. Friends, not even fans. And they're all scrappers. Pretty much fucking all your crew scraps. They all get down. I can name a whole bunch of names right now, but we'll leave names out of it. And obviously I've been lucky enough to go to a lot of your fights. We've uh, we've had some fucking really close calls. Actually fucking, you know, some, some, some I wouldn't say punches thrown, but pushes and fucking yeah. rating people's faces and stuff. But you can't get help but to get fucking fired up over your guy and if you're right next to a crowd of people that are the other guys fucking fan as a matter of fact your one fight i went out there when i was dating melissa uh the redheaded guy in sacramento what was his name bo check i sat right behind his whole family bro i was literally his whole family was right in front of me and i'm like let's go frankie and there's a bunch i should have known they were all redheads looking back <laughs> up at me right and i'm like shit these are fucking and then i remember someone said that's his mom that's bocek's mom i was sitting literally right behind her <sighs> So I didn't talk too much yet because it was Fuck his family. Fuck that, but, Ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roger, <laughs> Roger, 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 Roger hit in the head with a beer. <laughs> yeah. Pour it on her head. I feel like that's Jersey, though. I feel like Jersey it is, just bro. backs Jersey. Oh, yeah. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah. When, I, sure. when we fight in Atlantic City, like that that crowd is just Well, nuts. these guys sell like, 200, 300 tickets each. Though, yeah. So it's just yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. The, the crowd's all them, you know? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, that's you always hear that, some that's, stories that's, afterwards. Those are fun. Enjoy enjoy those moments, man. I went to one of your fights years ago at Boardwalk Hall. I always sold a ton of tickets. Yep. Ton. And even the people that sell tickets to everybody knew me. So it was yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, I've been fighting in Jersey since fucking 90, 98, 99. Yeah. It was a long fucking time, man. That's when I moved here. Damn, I was, I was literally two. 
<laughs> nobody gives a fuck. You're fucking shit in your pants. <laughs> Seriously. Literally. Supposed to remind me of my age. Hey, just remember this. Say it. Say it. Caught the plane suicide yesterday after being choked 30 times by this old man. So remember that. I'm sure it was. I cheated. I cheated. You know, I don't feel cheated. good. I don't feel good. You might be. <laughs> nah, that's not cheating. Like, that's right. that's just it slams me on my head. Experience. <laughs> yeah. I gotta always have the excuse ready just in case. You know. Yeah. He's got to fall back for sure. Yeah. I'm old. That's what you can say. He's only 50 when he it's convenient. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. young. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, Listen, I can't do that. I'm 50 years old. Listen, I'm not like, for nothing, and Eric said it, too, on the way he was like, how many 50-year-olds are on the mat rolling every day or doing live? I was doing live take, cage takedowns, live takedowns with him. Yeah. Live, like, in and out. After I did fucking 40 minutes of jiu-jitsu, like, on the mat, I'm training. I still train every day, like, you know what I mean? How many guys my age are doing that? They're not. I know a couple. Also, I don't uh, know how you're also, doing that. How many guys? Live takedowns off the cage like that? How many dudes that you graduated well, high school with Steve look Rivera. like you? Well, Probably not a bunch well, of them. Steve's a different animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I was saying oh, that Steve too. Rivera, Steve's a different yeah, yeah, yeah. animal. The whole, the whole convo started because he was like, damn, like I'm always tired right now. I was like, I was like, bro, you train every day with us. Like, mm. you, we're, we're professional fighters. Like, mm. we're training every day, and you're training with us every day. Like, you're going to be way more tired like your body cannot take that same he's got he's got good supplements <laughs> the secret juice baby aspirin he stays young i got baby aspirin. Supplements. no i got baby aspirins that's it man that's good stuff makes you feel good baby apparently. aspirin little little fucking uh vitamin b that's it. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Roger, 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 Roger gives you the vitamin there you D. Go. There you go. <laughs> Always can count on Frankie for a gay joke. Yeah. Always. Always. <laughs> and never get old, ever. Well, hey. Uh, Dante, it's past your bedtime, my man. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you got it out, Russ, right? Yeah. No, thank you guys for coming, man. Good luck December 15th. Uh, I, I think you guys got big, big, uh, you know. Futures. Big futures. Um, you guys are in good hands, obviously, with Dante. I think we got a great network here in Jersey. I feel like uh, we got a couple guys in the UFC in Jersey, so we need we need some uh, we need some representation there, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Is there that soon, is that in AC in December? Yeah. We, yeah. we got we got to come down, come yeah. come down. And Let support, me know. I get you guys sure. the tickets. You guys are come real quick, guys. If people want to follow you, check you guys out on your socials. Where, where, where can they find you? Follow you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow him on Instagram. What's your name on? Luke, on yeah, look yeah, up yeah. Spooky Lukey. Uh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Luke, I'm Luke Fern on Instagram. You can check me out. Eric Nolan Twelve. Right on. All right, boys. It was a pleasure. You got to sign the board before you leave. Yeah, and, you guys and guys, hey. if, guys, if you look up Luke, make sure you comment in the comments. Stop. Spooky Lukey. Please, when you guys become UFC champs. Don't forget the little people. Don't forget who had you on That's first, right? right? That's right. So, Appreciate literally, it. Thank the, you for, thank literally, you literally, literally the little people. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so Stop. much for having us. Listen, I, I didn't know they laid, that they made uh, Frank Yeager life size uh, action figures. <laughs> uh, uh, size. Roger tries to put it in his <laughs> anus. <laughs> I have. That's been in my anus several times. <laughs> Guys, just a reminder, don't forget to find and follow us on YouTube, Rumble, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms.